right, okay. It's time. Uh, let's go. Um, <laughs> profile, uh, uh, what do I call profile? I'll call it air. Eh. There you go. Uh! Ran sick. Okay, right, right. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> right, so I'll investigate some murders. <laughs> do, do, do. Finally. Hello, neighbor, too. Some post view, Poirot. I, 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 I really the don't like how cursed these walls are. ...solving mysteries that are too difficult for our poor thick-head British police. Let us see, Mr. Clever Poirot, just how clever you can be. Perhaps you'll find this nut too hard to crack. Look out for Endover on the 21st of the month. Yours extra. A, B, C. Easy as one, two, three. Oh, it's some sort of joke. Maybe. But please remind me to inform Chief Inspector Jap. The twenty first, where when Super Sam Ham releases man of his word too. Dun 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 <laughs> Because it's something about this art style is just kind of so cursed, and I, d and I don't like it. It's here, Poirot. The murder took place in this street. Grim place indeed. To the fact, Hastings. The streets of Andover are in a terrible state. Look, there's Chief Inspector Jap. He's talking with a policeman. Let us try not to get our shoes wet. All right, it's time. <laughs> Okay, first off, the walking animation is great. I feel like I'm like a penguin. <laughs> this, is, this is just waddling forward. 
Don't dilly dally, Pyro. Chap. <laughs> okay, chap. Over here, it's Hastings and Poro. You missed the nine o'clock train? We took the half past ten. Luckily, the service is good to us. So, Chief Inspector, what do we have? The victim is called Alice Asher. She owned this tobacco shop. She was killed yesterday with a blow to the back of the head. At what time? Let me just check. Oh yeah, th th this is also a minigame, like, you have to just, like, observe the details. Is Jap being too relaxed? Let us find the clues that prove it. <laughs> what even is that gesture? I don't get what the gesture's supposed to be. I'm guessing he's like checking his points or something. Maybe. Okay, am I am I just like staring at him or something? Borrow, my friend. Give me a minute to find the damn notebook. Borrow, my friend. Okay. Uh. Do I just leave or like what? Is Jap being too relaxed? Let us find the clues that prove it. Right, his, his moustache. <laughs> huh? Jap is in a good mood. I bet he thinks he's already called the culprit. last customer to see Mrs. Asher alive left her shop at half past five. The body was found at around 11 in the evening by an officer doing his rounds. The shop door was open. That's what alerted him. Had anything been taken? A little tobacco maybe, but you'd hardly murder for a few smokes. There's nothing of any real value in the shop. What type of woman was Mrs. Asher? A husband? Aha, Franz Asher, the husband. Alcoholic and violent. It's said that he regularly insulted his wife and threatened to kill her. Instantly found him. <laughs> A little too easy, don't you think? You like complications, don't you? Well, this time you may be disappointed. But that. May I examine the crime scene? Of course, old chap. I'll be with you in a minute, Pirate. Right, let's, let's, let's go and investigate the scene. Uh, let's see what we can observe. The place is unusually tidy for. Okay, it's all good but nothing suggests any sign of a fight. is covered with fingerprints all up. oh yeah and this is and this is the plot thing that the murder like leaves behind it's not just any it's an ABC and it is as easy as one two three the there are no prints on the board Well, amateur killer, everyone knows that the ABC starts with the letter F. <laughs> Red liquid is oozing out. No, it's just some. It 
it was the strawberries that the, 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 the victim in a very even shaped pool. she just has one wound on the back of the head okay she has a packet uh, cigarettes I can't see any other hmm. the body is hidden by the counter and is Okay, so it looks like a single strike, I'm guessing. There are cigarettes packets in a mess on the... So, Poirot, any news? So, an ABC guide with no fingerprints, but prints all over the counter. Normally, the tobacco shop does not sell ABC guides. Exactly. Mon ami, could you have a word with the neighbors? Some may have seen something. Of course, my friend, I'll do it straight away. Hmm, the body. Right, that's to be like some kind of key or something, right? The door is locked. Oh, there we go, okay. Uh, one Teal does not second. appear to have been touched. Okay, so, so there's an eight drawn there. Ah, a mechanism has just made a fan click. Okay, so it's eight five. The teal is full of money, but there is something strange. Two. Okay, so so eight five two. This must be the key to the back of the shop. <gasps> I had to come see voice of ASJ and welcome. How's it going? And yeah, we we are we are doing the the ABC murders. <laughs> the peak of video games. <laughs> now, how how did you find the um? The final boss. What a strange box. It looks like you have to slide the slats of wood yeah. to open it. Oh, good, I never finished this game. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure why Jack left it. I mean, I mean, it's, it's, it's a pretty fun game. Uh, the, the the final boss was pretty neat. A excellent, excellent. And and, and I'm guessing the story uh, concluded well. Yeah, uh, all the whole design me mechanics. Hell yeah, excellent. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm really looking forward to getting into the trail series. Yeah, yeah, yes. I'm fully satisfied with the ending up. That should do it. I cried a lot. Oh wow. Uh, I think that, that 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 sounds like like it ended incredibly well. A necklace of bright blue stone. Oh, well, wish you played on hard mode. Was um was 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 was, was the game pr pr pretty easy? Oh, and as always with detective games, there's always something written on the back. To my dear old <laughs> Alice. 
Married hardware. Golden rule of any piece of paper on detective games. Have you found anything? The victim has a niece. We must find her. <laughs> I love the way he walks. He he seriously looks looks like a penguin. He just kind of waddles like a penguin. Is 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 great. Is great. This interior is very simple. It was very easy, really. Only a couple uh, bosses gave gave me pause. Uh, I think I sweated more than uh, more more to have enjoyed it a little more too. Hmm. I, I rule thumbs up, great. I, 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 I definitely want to try the game in hard mode then. Like, when I do my first playthrough of the Cold Steel series, I, I'm, I, I, I'm definitely doing hard mode because because it definitely sounds like a lot of fun. I want to. Who did you end up going with? In terms of um, pairing with uh, Reen. Such a pretty decoration should be added. Thinking, the hardest mini game. Uh, I did ever first have been up again and went with with Sarah. Oh, okay, excellent. The wooden flower is prevent. This this puzzle is really complex. <laughs> uh, so, um, what kind of options did did they end up g g giving you? Oh, tra 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 trails of sky. Yeah, I think uh, the thing that's really good about trails in the, of sky is 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 that it, it can run it can run on like a really bad p p p PC. So so it should be okay. So he, here is hoping. Oh, is this gonna be it? Go on, rotate. Oh, there we go. Simply just the master player. Let's go. I hear the fence sound as if something wasn't locked. Excellent. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, th I think your your laptop should be able to ha handle it. Mm, it is blocked. Yeah, so much from the first three games and the last Cold Steel that I reckon not playing it before four was a big mistake. Oh, okay, so so it's something that you like definitely have to play in order. Uh, basically wraps up the previous five games. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think there's there's five games. Oh, true, because um, because because, because, in, because I think like the sky protagonists. Show up, right? Oh, there we go. Let's go. Solving the mystery, baby. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, I think uh, I think the Sky characters show up in C C Cold Steel, right? Medicine. Yeah, the crossbow contingent features heavily to the point I find myself thinking, oh, oh, now, okay. based cough medicine, Mrs. Hasher, and Dover Morley Laboratory, London. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I definitely need to finish um, trails in the sky. The home of such a modest woman. From Mr. Adam Flint, Royal Bank, Eastfield Road, and Dover, to Mrs. Despite the seriousness of your case, I regret to inform Mrs. Asher's Miguel. Yeah. So, 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 Ise is next, right? And and how how far did you get? Um, did 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 you play it at first? Or um, or, or is this something that you you're going back to? If it, if I may suggest, pause the Cold Steel playthrough and play the Sky Games first. Definitely, definitely, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm definitely going to do the the Sky Games first. Yeah, I only got about a quarter through East. Oh, oh, okay. So so that's actually a surprising amount of the game. Did Alice Asher suffer from nosebleeds? And yeah, I I'm really looking forward to to your reactions to the stuff that happens because because Issei is just an incredible game. An inscription in German, souvenir of our honeymoon in the Black Forest, to my Alice forever, Franz Asher. The Ashers were a lovely couple when they were young. <laughs> so much more to get from a falcon roll now. Let us now try it, and get our brain cells to work. A falcon roll is the best kind of roll. The motive for the crown. There you go. Yeah. So, so what what, what other games do you have one, ha, have in the pipeline? There is no sign of a struggle, and the till has not been forced or emptied. I think I've looked everywhere here. Let us see if I can find any more information in the shop's surroundings. Oh my God, he is speaking t t telepathically. <laughs> it's, it's, I don't, I just can't deal with that walking animation. Imagine if there was a horror game and like this was the this was the animation when he runs after you. <laughs> that That is the most cursed thing. It's so funny. Letters. Four pence for letters. <laughs> Poor Roger is distinctly walks in the books, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't think they managed to do it quite so well. <laughs> I think if if I saw this walking towards me, I think I would be terrified. <laughs> So, something about this game's art style is just like incredibly cursed. And <laughs> this animation, I love it. This woman appears to be a smoker. Smoker. <laughs> see she got cigarette. Loads of cigarettes, pro probably about five packs a day. Box of matches. She's a big smoker. She must have been a customer at the tobacco shop. A 
A bottle of poor quality vinegar. The smell could awaken the dead. Yeah. Okay, so, 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 have you watched the um, Poirot series on um, on t t t TV? Say the strawberries are not fresh. <laughs> oh, I am so, I am so tempted. How much are your letters, please? A letters? That'll be five pence, kind sir. <laughs> Ask the price of two letters. <laughs> five pence? That's right. Maybe so it's slightly harder hearing. Five pence? Absolutely extortion. I heard you shouting a lovely large letters, four pence only earlier. Did I? Well, I must have been mistaken. Begging your pardon. But if I said four, it's four. Why not take two for eight? No, thank you. I was only asking. Yeah, I, I think, I think David is the definitive Poirot. I, I, I completely I agree. Poirot, the detective. I, you're I love the TV sure, series. It's so good. Your odd way about you. And you'll hear about Alice's murder, I suppose. Well, I've nothing to say to you. <laughs> Don't Did face you speak to the victim yesterday? No, I never saw her. I do not quite understand. You work next door to each other, but you do not see each other? It's true! I didn't see her all day! Yeah, uh, uh, funny enough, I've been listening to him narrate Murder on the Orient Express. Oh. So, 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 so he like the narrates audiobooks? I know that you went to the tobacco shop yesterday. Well? Oh, I tended to accuse her of murder. Oh, do I? <laughs> you know what? Yes. <laughs> so you killed Mrs. Asher with a blow to the head? No! You asked for a packet of plays. She turned around to take it from the shelf and you hit her. One blow. Listen. I didn't kill Alice, I swear. But it's true that I did go to the shop yesterday. At what time? Six o'clock. She left me a note saying she wanted some strawberries if I got some. I received them late, about six. So I took them over to her. But you did not it's, see her. Those were the strawberries you gave her. Shop, so I just put ah. the strawberries on the counter and left. Those were the stories you gave her. Those, those strawberries were shit. <laughs> and yeah, I I I I don't want to hear an audio book um, read by read, 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 read by David. Did you see anything unusual in the shop? No. Well, maybe one thing. There was a railway guide on the counter. Oh, planted. Alice didn't sell them. Maybe it's the customer who left it there. You were not alarmed? I thought Alice had just gone to get her medicine from her room and that she'd be straight back. You mentioned medicine. Something for her cough. She used to take it a lot. Who do you think killed her? France. Her scoundrel of her husband. He was always after her for something. Well, he's a foreigner. Uh, sorry, sir. What I mean is he's German. That's even worse. Did you see Franz Asher enter the tobacco shop late yesterday afternoon? Well, no. But at that time of the day, the streets are packed, and I have better things to do than watch her shop. Selling, selling the one key to, to a reverb to fart sound is a huge mistake. Uh, I think there's a new horror game out right now. There is. I... I need it. I must acquire the poirot. Hey, <laughs> I found the victim's niece. She's waiting for you in the back of the shop, if you want to question her. Thank you, mon ami. Let us now try and get our brand cells to work. 
Right, it was Miss Asher killed on site. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of like all of the mini games Mrs. that, that was killed here. This, this game has, has as you do. The regular shape of the blood stains indicated beyond a doubt. Like, like if 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 you have the um, what's it called? Like, like, like broken sword and disc world. Like, I think I think this is a really cool way to like diverse the gameplay. And it's called. Hercule Poirot, the first case is £25 on Steam. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll quickly write that down because I definitely want to look into that. Uh, hand sec. See, see if I can alt tab out. There you go. Right. Um, Hercule Poirot, the first case is. Ah, okay, excellent. Yeah, I'm I'm, 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 a, I'm a big fan of these like she's waiting for you in the back of the shop. De detective you, games. Abby. I'll question her. Uh, and also point and clicks in general like like they're, they're just a really nice genre to just kind of r relax with. I found the victim's niece. Thank you, mon ami. I'm a big fan too. Hell yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd love to see them like re-release the Discworld games, but, but yeah, I'm not sure if they would. Is a grief sincere? This 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 does not look. This does not look like crying. She, she looks like she's just staring at just this, this mat on the table. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm like having to watch them on YouTube. Yeah. She appears to be very upset. I do, I do have them though, so so I, I, I so I can play them, um, because because I have the on them on uh, PlayStation One. We could play Discworld. <laughs> the mod that she stops crying. <laughs> I love that you can make Poirot just like the most evil, just the most evil thing. <laughs> you were very fond of your aunt, am I right? She was the only family I had since my mother died. Oh god, those eyes. <laughs> your aunt did not have any children, is that correct? No. She was separated from her husband. What do you think about Franz Asher, your aunt's husband? This is amazing. He never left her alone. Poor aunt. She used to drop by all the time and make a scene. Uh, she thought the husband would go through. Uh, You are not very surprised when you heard what happened. Oh, oh, but I was. You see, it was a nasty piece of work, but up until yesterday, it was just empty threats. He shouted a lot, but she wasn't afraid of him. Why, he used to slink away <laughs> when she I love a cozy murder mystery. Same. Her, you like. I, lo I love a good murder. These, uh, they, 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 these mystery games are, like, really, really fun. Your aunt should have asked for a divorce. Oh no, sir! My aunt had principles! <laughs> well, you aunt's principle have led her to the morgue. <laughs> oh, oh, oh god, she's becoming Pyramid Head from, from Silent Hill. Run! <laughs> hmm, Hastings, please see this young lady home. 
<laughs> I wish there were more detective games out there. Same, same. I, I, I love this genre of games. Wow, he just knocked everything. Poirot <laughs> Cross, I was Silent Hill, I'd watch it, yeah. To check. That must be some way of sobbing him up. Same. I wonder what his wife used to do. He must have skipped. I think it was Pyramid Head, who is the killer. <laughs> of new stocking. It's Ali Sasha's notebook. Ah, that's interesting. I was like, no, Pyramid Head was not a killer. It was actually Hastings. <laughs> Bodley. The fruit seller has debts too. She will probably be more cooperative thanks to this piece of information. Mr. Stocking's leg found on the same tree. I think it was the Stockings that, that did the killer. <laughs> the Stockings were the killer. A bottle of poor quality vinegar. A bottle of poor. I must acquire your vinegar. According to the victim's account book, you owed her ten pounds for tobacco and magazines. That's a lie. She owed me one pound. I swear. It was only one pound, I swear. Hmm. Enough lies. It's not lies. But you're not quite as clever as what you think. Now, please be so kind as to explain. <laughs> the stock is what the cat was taking the library. Oh, true. That 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 combination of stuff is a bit too. Hmm. She owed me one pound, and that reminds me, I have to get it back from her next. Uh, 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 that is quite enough. Uh, uh, that's quite enough. Have they ever into a video? Expect a chap to throw you in the cells for one or two nights while he checks your entries. I think they did back in the nineties. But no, but I'm not sure if they have done, done it nothing. again. In that case, I am counting on your full collaboration. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. <laughs> Just googling now. Hell yeah. <laughs> it was Pyramid Head who committed the murder. He <laughs> he was not satisfied with his four pence cabbages. I'll just borrow your bottle a moment. Take it. It's what Alice used to sew up her husband. Take it. <laughs> I love that line delivery. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Queen established the time range during where which Asha was killed. Between five thirty and eleven. Can we reduce this time? Five thirty and six, okay. <laughs> and now I must leave. <laughs> I I love the reverb to fart sound effect way too much. Why is it so funny? Oh, all oh right, you wake up.
Mes amis, I can say without a doubt that poor Mrs. Asher was killed between half past five and six. Killed when the street was packed with people. That's rather bold. I've been talking to the neighbors and... No one's seen anything? Or rather it's anything and everything. Am I wrong? <sighs> no. Bien. We must grill this villain Asher before he falls asleep again. Grill. <laughs> this man is in rather a bad state. The the, the Netflix M M Mario adaptation is looking really weird. This man has been fighting and he smells of alcohol. What were you doing yesterday at the time of the crime? Can't recall. You had been drinking again. <laughs> the occasional slap, sir. That's all. And you cannot even remember how you ripped the coat? I got it stuck in a door. Oh, I know. Do we be do we be polite Paul Poirot or do we be sassy Poirot? <laughs> huh? I'll just accuse him of fighting. No, yeah. Asha, look me <laughs> in the eye and tell me that you were in a fight. I'm looking. I'm looking. No, I wasn't in a fight. You are oh right. yeah, I, 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 are state of you. Are you definitely gonna pick the sassy options next? <laughs> Someone gave you a good beating. A beating? No way. All right, he tore my coat and gave me a black eye. You see the state of him? Very interesting. Who is the other that you struck? Probably best if I tell you everything. Yesterday afternoon, I met Roderick Tanner. We'd bet on a dog fight together. An illegal bet, not really. Yes, sir. Yeah. But I wasn't in the fight, though, Gavla. <laughs> True. Roderick got the money, but he refused to give me my share. And you thought about it. Bad liar, definitely. Was this? Definitely. He's... In the evening, about six, I think. He is high on the town. list. You see, I couldn't have killed my wife. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Right, what was Mr. A Mrs. Asher doing when she was killed? Right, definitely, definitely putting up some packets. There you go, there you go. The murderer probably pretended to be a customer. Uh, the BRB don't I sell the murder with Ellie. It, it never a messy, and and and, and I will see you in a little bit. Now, uh, can we explain the presence of an ABC guy at the counter? Uh. Right, I think it's this thing, right? Oh, oh, okay. Do 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 do. Boo do boom. Boo do. Murderer deliberately uh? left behind this ABC as a signature. The absence of fingerprints and the fact that it is open at letter A for Andover leaves little doubt. Asher's alibi appears to be confirmed. All the same, I'm going to call and check that he did have a fight with this Tanner on the afternoon of the murder. You can never trust this sort of chap. 
One thing is certain, Asher was a ruffian who used to beat his wife. But he's not very educated. It certainly was not him who wrote the letter signed ABC. Let's resume, Hastings. We know the murderer pretended to be a customer. He did not kill her for money, that appears to be certain. I agree with you on that point. And the murderer left an ABC guide as a signature. Therefore, it's likely he wrote the letter. Indeed, but that doesn't explain why and how he did it. You are quite right. <laughs> why he did it is a mystery. But as for how he did it, we do know enough to try and reconstruct the events. Oh, what is this music? Dun 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 and places the ABC you still went through with it? Before leaving. Nah, 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 nah. Everything nah, if... appears to match the crime scene, mon cher Hastings. That is exactly what happened. If you see someone holding a hammer, you are not gonna just trust that. Come on, come on, bro. <laughs> Asher has a strong alibi, and we don't have any other suspect. But what was the point of this crime? To assert a dominance. She had the debts. <laughs> she gave Franz Asher money regularly. She wasn't owed money. Nobody stood to gain anything. No doubt about it. The murderer is insane. Hmm. And I fear that we had not heard the last of him. I hope you're wrong for once. Yeah. Let's go back to London. If we hurry, we should catch the two past seven train. Are you coming? No, unfortunately, I have to talk with Andover police. See you soon, then. Are you coming, Hastings? Let's go home. There's nothing for us here. Hastings is really scary. Oh, and so I just need to. Well, do you have any idea about the killer's identity? Hmm, the crime was committed by a man of medium height, with red hair and suspicious eyes. He has a slightly short right foot, and a wart just below his shoulder. Poirot! Mon ami, what do you want? You fix upon me a look of dog-like devotion and demand of me a pronouncement a la Sherlock Holmes. Now for the truth. I do not know what the murderer looks like, nor where he lives, nor how to set hands upon him. What should we do, then? Nothing. Order the Nothing? Pizza Hut, baby. It's two for Tuesday. Be so impatient, Hastings. The killer will manifest himself soon enough. I thought I heard the postman. I would go and see. Now, order two pizzas from Pizza Hut. <laughs> I'm going to stand here and spin the fan. Ah, some cool air. Excellent. <laughs> it is not the right time. It is not the right time. It was the fan who was the killer. Daily Flicker, June the twenty second, nineteen thirty. Shire, population 31,200 inhabitants. Those many inhabitants? No way! No 
doubt about it. Hastings is got... You're not going to get the post? Yes, yes, of course. There you go, check your moustache. Yeah! <laughs> Dear Mr. Poirot, well, what do you think? I believe that I won this round. The end of her affair went like clockwork, don't you feel? But the fun has only just started. I would like to draw your attention to Bexilon C on the 25th of this month. We're having a crazy time. Best wishes, ABC. 25th of this month, but, but I'm not working on Christmas Day. <laughs> the next <gasps> time will be in Bexil. We must warn Jap to Scotland Yard. Did the letter indicate anything that might help the police? No. To be honest, I think we can already guess something about the next victim. But I need to think about it a little more. It's impossible to get... Thinking. <laughs> Let us examine this more closely. Examine this. As you could see, the eyes are really Certain weird. characters <laughs> in the two letters may... Yes, this eye is weird. As well as the eye here. Yes, the eye characters in the two letters do indeed have the same defects. I have to find some other similar defects to confirm my theory. Mm. Yes, the A appears to be quite unusual. That's right. The A characters in the two letters oh, do let's go. have the same defects. Simply just a better player. <laughs> I have to find some other similar defects to confirm my theory. Hmm. The W is not printed properly. Of course, the W characters in the two letters do indeed have the same defects. My theory was right. These two letters were written with the same typewriter. Oh, I'm speedrunning this. Let's go. Both letters were written on the same typewriter and show the same characteristics. You surprise me, Poirot. You usually ignore material proof. But there is nothing usual about these case things. Nothing must be overlooked. <laughs> Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Right, let's be the yeah, what's so special about the end over murder. announcing where so they're gonna go next have you found something we uh. I believe so but i am afraid it is not enough to stop the murderer let us go and see chief inspector chap i will explain there Simply just peak maturity content. It's impossible to get through to. Sc <sighs> I like this chair. It is. It. It is very nice. Block the NPC. Oh, you can't block the NPC. <laughs> to Scotland Yard, please. 
I, I I love just taking the long way around. <laughs> Scotland forever. <laughs> Like all hunters, Hastings has always been fascinated by weapons. Fascinated by weapons. Perfect for a murder. <laughs> Jab has invested a great deal in his career. Right, okay. Uh, there. Chap is an investigator greatly respected by his peers. Sasha was murdered in a London. I really like this city. One thing is certain, you know. Yeah, I, I know you can get one pretty quickly. Jap appears to be snowed under. Jap appears to already be overloaded with work. My news is not going to improve matters. Bonjour, Chief Inspector. I am afraid we have some bad news. I have just received another letter signed ABC. The next crime will be on the 25th in Bexilon C. Are you completely sure it's from the same person? I have compared the two letters. There is no doubt about it. I suppose you think he's going to carry out his threats. I fear so. Good God, Poirot. Bexhill is very busy at this time of year, and we have no idea who the next victim will be. Uh, let's see. I suspect that the name of the second victim will start with B. What on earth makes you think such a thing? I thought about it when I saw the name Asha clearly written over the shop door of the unfortunate woman who was murdered in Andover last month. When I received the letter mentioning Bexil, I deduced that the victim, like the town, might have been chosen by alphabetical order. So, it's an alphabet fiend. I'm going to have a list drawn up of all the people whose name starts with B. I hope there aren't too many of them. <laughs> yeah, just get the title list. To work, Chief Inspector. You have a few days to prepare yourself. Thank you for coming, my friends. Th that, that seems a bit excessive. Uh, Chief Inspector Jab, uh, your call does I'm back. Work. I, I, I'd, I'd st stuff some food into my face like it's settling now. Hell yeah. So, um, what food did you get? Yeah, having a nice meal off the, off 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 the cold steel floor. Oh, stir fry! Very nice, Bexel very nice. A delightful town. I think uh, it would be nice. I think stir fry is it. like really good for I do not entirely re relaxation. The beach damages my shoes, and it hurts my knees. Simple but also so effective. Have not spared you, my friend. It's the same for. That is exactly what I said to myself when I saw you back from your travels. Poirot! Do not be offended, Hastings. I can see Jack waiting for us. And from his face, I would say that things are not looking good. Yeah. Oh, it literally takes five minutes. Lots. 
uh, was already made edible by oyster sauce. Oh, oyster sauce. Yeah, is it is a really oyster simple and effective thing. To be Ill at ease. He appeared to be relatively indifferent, Mrs. Ash. How do you do, gentlemen? Chief Inspector? I've we haven't yet identified the victim, but it's a young woman, 20 to 25 years old. Death occurred last night between half past 11 and 1 o'clock, and we found an ABC guide on the body. It Was she pretty? It Come on, Paro, that's right. Here's one magic place. secret There's ingredient. No on yeah. The it, it, Are you certain? It definitely seems to be a really good it, the most important it, 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 ingredient. It decides our destiny. The body hasn't been moved. You can see for yourself. Dun dun dun. Has, has been informed? Not yet, but I'm planning to. I haven't yet informed them about the presence of the ABC guide in Andover. Nobody has reported a young woman missing. Not for the moment. No witnesses, I imagine. Indeed. We've asked everybody who... It's early days, Chief Inspector. Also, the, the butler's the done it. Exactly. I, I, I should have known we should have locked him in the freezer. <laughs> you want a tree? Oh, I see the death now. Death by a single, single strand of spaghetti. R rookie mistake. You're supposed to eat, eat all of the spaghetti, and then you then you just leave that strand in, and it will it, it will just get you back. You know, you can't be making mistakes like that. Just damn. <laughs> That's what Dwight saw is true. Mon dieu, that is not tomato sauce. But it is the blood of the innocent. <laughs> the guide is open at the page for the Bexhill train times. This key is too small to be one for a house. Without a doubt, it is for a padlock. Uh, uh, thanks to the strand of spaghetti, she p p passed away. The young woman was not <laughs> wearing shoes or a coat, and was not carrying a bag. That's strange. Either the murderer stole her belongings, or she put them somewhere safe. <laughs> Maybe so that she could buy. Just the incident. Oh no, no. <laughs> See yourself out. <laughs> strange that chap didn't notice it. Well, well, that's the end of the ABC murders. I, uh, I, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> These marks have been left by a rope oh, or a bread and cloth. Apart from the marks on her neck, there are no signs of the struggle. She didn't manage to hit her. Thank you, a good night. <laughs> I, 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 I really need to make a credit slide. Transition b b b because that would be amazing. A braided seat belt, it may have belonged to the victim. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Wait, 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 that thing is a belt. How is the victim killed? It was the spaghetti. Strangled by surprise, definitely. <laughs> the poor child must have been strangled with his bread belt. Unfortunately, in view of the fabric, it is unlikely that we will find any prints. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. And uh, just had one head duel. Common points between the Andover and the one in Bexhill. ABC guide, right? And then, nah.
Yeah, I like it. Um, the uh, the coins and the, the the work the same. Uh, the, yeah. The medical officer should confirm that the victim was strangled with her own belt. That's what I thought. She shows the usual signs of strangulation. With a little luck, we'll find Prince this time. You are too optimistic, Hastings. Our killer is far too meticulous for that. Right, let's, let's, let's observe this key, shall we? Okay, so it's so it's, so it's number six, right? And then we go look for something that looks like a number six, which I'm guessing should should be this. The number is upside down. This is definitely at number six. Right. It looks like I was seven one five or seven one six. So so let's try again with seven one five. Padlock. I need to find the code. Right, it has to be seven one five, right? Okay, excellent. There we go. Yeah, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the interactive stuff. The purse is full. Yet again, we can dismiss theft as the motives for the murder. Here is the watch she must have removed to prevent it from getting wet. A top brand lipstick. She liked to take care of her appearance. As well as a photo of the victim with some company. It could be useful to me. Oh, well, there's, there's not something written on the back this time. I think that's the ultimate pl 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 plot twist. It definitely was here that the victim left her belongings. Betty's first day at work. Mom is very proud of you. Elizabeth Barnard, 7 August 1931. So, the young lady did have a name starting with B. And she worked as a ginger cat, an establishment that must be slightly further along the beach. Jap has gone to the police. The victim has been identified and her family had reported her disappearance. She was called? Elizabeth Barnard, mainly Betty. She worked as a ginger cat at the cafe slightly further along the beach. But Poirot, how on earth? Never mind. Do you have her address? Yes, she lived with her parents on the street leading to the beach, number 22. Shall we go? You are far too impatient, Hastings. Let the poor people <laughs> take in the news first. Let us go and hey, visit dumpster. the cafe where uh, I love to take the stories. Same. Also, the, the latest stream enhancement. I have added, I, I, I have binded a sound effect to, 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 to the keyboard. Peak humor. <laughs> uh, AI Sondamian files is an absolute ST detective story if you see it. Oh, okay, I'll, 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 I'll write that down also. Right.
right, let, let me write that down. I'm going to type, type, type. Uh, a, a, some, neum, fire oath. Excellent. Yeah, I liked Dang Dang and Romper, but but um, but in pure objective storytelling and mystery. Oh yeah, the Dang and Romper is is just insane. Is it, 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 yeah, it has like so much go, 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 going on. Uh, it, it was very moody and moody. Oh, okay, excellent. And it's like fifty pound bill, and it goes on sale for like twenty twenty five. Excellent. Oh, 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 honest, JM. Um, for, for, for some reason, the alert box didn't go off, but but thank you for the sub, and I appreciate it. I'm 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 not, I'm not sure why the alert didn't go off though, because because it didn't show up on the feed. St I think uh, I think I might have to update the um, stream ups. And yeah, the, these 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 games are really really fun. No, is it? Hey, thank you. Uh, well, I'm sorry. What there's that the, there was there was a murder guy. Uh, who murdered someone f um, with with the letter A, and 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 now he's murdered someone with the letter B. And and yeah, we're, we're, we're currently finding out about letter B, and then we're connecting the dots to see who was the one that the, 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 did it. A minute, <laughs> Has there been a murder? True. Uh, we now are investigating the second. I guess we'll need to wait and see. Oh, Dobster. Dobster has peak humor. Something I love tells it. Me uh, that she's oh, did of the ginger cat. You, you, you have a Digimon Emperor emote. Yeah, I, 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 I like that emote. This woman must be the owner of the ginger cat. It looks like something is bothering her. How can I help you? A hot chocolate and a tea for my friend, please. I'll bring it straight away. Ray, what a pity. We need to change the music. Have any chance to make it work? Don't have any change to make it work. Hey, Stiggs. Uh, I need money to change the song. <laughs> hey, Stiggs is often reluctant to search for clues. <laughs> what are you going to do, Poirot? Look for clues, mon cher ami. I need to know the time range during which Betty was working on her own. Right, let's observe this. Where is Betty? Betty worked from 11 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. Would she have been alone at any oh, time during work the service? Well, click X, X and dumpster and, uh, and, and, and I appreciate the look, man. What in good God's name is happening here? Oh, oh, oh we're currently investigating the murder. And, uh, and hey, Super Sam, and welcome to ha ha How is it going? This person is not the last one to have worked with Betty. Betty worked from 11 a.m. 
Interesting. A murder true. <laughs> also, Sam, I, I managed to work the soundboard thing. And now I have a and I have a button that is way too powerful. <laughs> Best button. <laughs> yeah. Now both of us can spam the reverbed fart in VC. These are the different waiting staffs bills. Which ones were written by Betty? Yeah, I'm gonna send you something powerful with Discord? Hell yeah, man. Right, this person's writing style is, is, is like long and scratchy, right? So, definitely think it has to be that one. Probably a single man, a whiskey lover, maybe the murderer? This bill may have been written by Betty. There is probably another one. Right. I think is that one right? Most probably a family. Betty served a family and a man on his own. A whiskey drinker. Maybe the murderer. This information will help me to Oh we are speed running this. What? Gentlemen, what are you doing? We are you didn't see anything. Mademoiselle. My name is Hercule Poirot. I am a detective, and this is Captain Hastings. Uh, Does Betty Paul. Barnard work here? That is correct. She should have been here a while ago. Yeah, and how has your day been, Sam? Is the first rule of politeness. I fear that Miss Barnard will not be coming today. She has just been found dead on the beach a few hundred meters from the cafe. How awful! Poor young thing. Death by the single That's spaghetti funny. strand. She appears to have been... This case is getting her. saucy. This is most distressing. How this will affect my business, I shudder to think. What can you tell us about Miss Barnard? Nothing, absolutely nothing. <laughs> You're Ms. not pretty true. Her private life was none of my business. And how about you? I am doing great. These games have been really fun. Uh, it's, it's, been, it's been good. Definitely <laughs> didn't wake up 40 minutes ago. Classic Sam. To be honest, I definitely do a lot of the same thing. And yeah, what wh 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 what are your plans for the day? Um, ask ask if a gentleman friend might dead. Uh, this friend. photo was found. Is this him? Yes, that's him, all right. But I haven't seen him for some time. Do you think there may have been some problems between them? I'm not on those sort of terms with my staff. Now, please excuse me, I have work to do. Wow, just, just instantly just the Custom angry reaction. Custom Award Whiskey might provide us more information. He may have been the last one to see Betty alive. It is an interesting idea, Stings. Maybe he is a regular guest. What do you think, mademoiselle? I don't think so. Our regular guests tend to order tea and cakes. At this time of the year, there are a lot of tourists about They're you never see again. Just tea and cakes when there's like That's all of that back on the ship. Time to visit Betty's home. I think I might have found the problem with the service. <laughs> Just want tea and cakes when it's all of this. All of this in the back. <laughs> This is a well-laid table. Nothing is out of place, and above all, no creases. 
R right, so so I think we need to go out next, right? Miss Marion is not the sort of witness that my friend enjoyed. Right, so I'm guessing we just we just go right. Could it be the same buildings as on the victim's photo? Victim's photo. Oh, that's something. Yeah, okay, right, where's, where's the last one? Oh, sand, okay. This is definitely where the photo I found in the hut was taken. Dun dun dun. Yeah, yeah. I think the time when when Jack stopped the game was was when he was at like a hotel location, I think, and then uh, uh, then the game crashed. My name is <laughs> How about you, I Super Thirty Six sub? We hear all about. Hey, Poppy, and welcome. To How's it going? <laughs> but I will take it as I, one for now. I, I love Your that email. Sister, I believe. Yes, my name is Megan. Can we come in? Please do. The tables will turn. Oh, give me some Sam. <laughs> My parents are at the police station. I doubt they'll be up to speaking to you later. Do not worry. We will not bother them. <laughs> Did you know your sister's plans for yesterday evening? Hey, thank you, Poppy, no, and I appreciate I it. I arrived by train this morning. My parents. And now it is Sam with the Super Thirty Six. <laughs> She went out last night, but she didn't tell them where she was going. No, is it? Last conversation yeah, excellent. <laughs> and and dress. how have you she been? She wanted a pair of black stockings to go with it. Mother brought her a pair. The very day it happened. D she was crying. Doing well, excellent, excellent. And to think that Betty never even wore them. Poor mummy. Yeah, she, she, she just trying to do it in Pokemon. Oh, okay. So, 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 what, 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 what game are you playing? It would not be polite to visit the house without being invited to do so. Shield. Ah, okay, excellent. Uh, does it just doing the catching Pokemon and shiny hunt thing? Ah, I see. So, 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 what Pokemon are you going after? Oh, violin. I miss playing the violin. They're all Miss Modest, but the Barnards are yeah. definitely music lovers. Yeah. Any random one? Excellent. <laughs> I hope you I hope you get the shiny soon. Oh, true! Like everyone is like dependent on on the, on the weather. Oh, uh, oh, also, also, streams got recent update because because, because I managed to add to add the soundboard. <laughs> the, 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 the peak of sound effects. <laughs> Let's go! Yeah. <laughs> Family photos and fires. The the <laughs> the absolute peak. 
This gramophone is magnificent. It is a one-off, without a doubt. Mr. Poirot, I don't like being stared at. If you have something to say, would you please say it to me? What do you know about Dolmio sauce? Why do kids love the taste of Cinnamon Toast Crunch? <laughs> what is she feeling at oh, the moment? Oh, oh god, her eyes are terrifying. I, I do not like those eyes. Uh, had to had to buy a micro SD card for Switch because I don't have enough room for BDSP. Yeah, I don't I, I, I don't think I had to get a micro SD card as, as, as well. Mr. Poirot, I don't like being stared at. If you have something to say, would you please say it to me? No, I am too focused on staring. <laughs> <laughs> Betty's older sister is not just sad, she's angry. Absolutely just moulding. She was playing P Pogoni e e Unite. <laughs> Did Betty go out often? My sister wasn't a child. <laughs> so I've seen them she used to go out. She enjoyed films, dancing. She was a very good girl who didn't hang around with men. That's what they always say, no? I am not interested in what people say. I am interested in the truth, Mademoiselle Barnard. If you only knew how much I would like to talk with someone who does not know that your sister is dead and who could provide me with a true portrait of her, beyond the formalities. The truth is that my sister was a silly little fool. I tried to reason with her, but she behaved like an idiot. In what way? She used to say that if she was going to marry Don, she might as well have some fun now. Scary. I understand. Please continue. Oh, excuse me, I have to answer that. But of course. Betty's room is opposite the stairs on the first floor. Feel free to take a look if you think it might be useful. <laughs> Please continue, does not continue, true. This young woman is far too clever not to have anything else for us. Do you think she's hiding something? That is what I'm trying to find out. Surely you don't think she did it? I did not say anything of the sort. But young women always ruin your judgment, Hastings. Who knows, maybe Megan was jealous of her attractive young sister. I see. She may have had her sights on the inheritance. Or... We have to study all scenarios, even the most unlikely. But I doubt that Mr. and Mrs. Barnard are rich enough to justify murder. While I try and get Miss Barnard to talk, I would like you to try and find Donald Fraser. It should be easy to find the estate agents where he works. Bring him to the Ginger Cats. I would like to talk with him before the chief inspector finds him. Right, you can't analyze that. So, so let's try it going up. It looks like Betty was also a music lover, same as a family. Oh, very nice, very nice. Without a doubt, Betty used to sing. Creator of the iconic masterpiece, P -p -p Panic at the Disco. Medicine to prevent voice loss. Did Betty have problems with our voice? This small key should be useful to me. 
<laughs> just instantly just taking the key. Something on this clock bothers. This metal disc is stuck. I'm I'm pretty sure that's a screw. This metal disc is stuck. Right, let's uh, see what we got here. Uh, what a strange mechanism. I don't think it serves to turn the hands. Turn hands, okay. The cogs are blocked by these wooden panels. Wooden panels. Uh, okay, 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 so so you need to like find a way to get rid of it, right? This wooden panel is blocked. I c this wooden panel is blocked. I can't open it. Uh, oh, time to find the electric puke Oh, oh, true. You, you um, you're looking for uh. Strange. Well, what, what was the name? The. It was in Super Draft the League, but I'm trying to remember it. Oh, oh, P pinch urchin. There, that's better. Okay, okay, okay now we can. Re the cogs re are blocked by these wooden panels. Right, I don't know what this is supposed to do. The cogs are blocked by one pants, okay. Cogs are blocked by the right. This wooden panel is blocked. Can't open it. The cogs are blocked. Right, let's try. Oh yeah, true. Like, p p p p p pinch urchin is like really, really rare. Right. Okay. All found him, nice. Yeah. Yeah, Pinch Urchin is really, really funny. Oh, the left side. I, th I think this is the solution. 
Because, 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 because everything seems to be on the left side of this th mechanism. Rotate that way, and, and that would get rid of it. Assuming this is all clockwise. The cogs are blocked by these wooden panels. Hmm. He got it. N nice one. Uh, I, I also think you can get um. You can also get it randomly in Max Raid Adventures, and um, uh, uh, Max Raid Adventures has like a really high sh shiny chance. Cogs are blocked by these wooden pen. Okay, can can I use this maybe? Oh, I see. You can. Uh, I'm not doing max raids until I beat post game on the lot Zama. Oh, true. Uh, um, but it, but then max raid adventures in the in the, in the Crown Tundra. Um, it's all rental Pokemon. So so it's not as bad. And and, and the thing that's great about um, about the max raid adventures is is. You actually get to keep the rental Pokemon, which which is an an amazing feature. Right, keys. Right. Oh, oh. Okay. So, so in general, like these items just don't work. This is this is actually really confusing. Yeah, on these squad they don't they want random AI screwing up the shiny Zygote. True. Yeah, yeah. The the AI is like really really bad.
a stunt. Uh, let's see. Um, Below and above. How, how, how are you supposed to remove the panels? <laughs> you you are removed the tree. This wooden panel is blocked. I can't help it. So strange. This wooden panel is blocked. I can't open it. This wooden panel is blocked. Okay, um... The cogs are blocked by these wooden panels. Strange. Right, it's, it's got to be something. Uh, am, am I supposed to just look up hints or something? Clocks, coins. Uh, what is the decoration on the clocks, coins? Oh, oh, okay. You're, you're supposed to click on like the coins. Decorations on the clock's corners. This leg is not well attached. Oh. Hmm. Could this could be slightly loose? Good. It should be possible to open the wooden panel. Oh, this, this, this answers everything. Look, a key. Three, one, two, two. Okay. This could be useful. The 
cogs are blocked by... The center cog is blocked. are blocked by these wooden panels. Strange. Okay. Right. Three, one, two, two. Hey, there you go. Uh, how do you even catch a wild reason to to tell you all just blow up? Yeah. E you 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 need to make them sleep. Uh, I think uh, I think actually they they don't do it if if you use a Pokemon that's weak to fairy, or also like weak weak to poison because 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 the AI always picks moves that that are. Effective. Ah, something clicked on the front of the clock. Oh, I was using Berserker. Yeah. We in the clock, boys. Boys, and let's and let's take the stuff. This could be useful. Betty, I enjoyed a wonderful evening in your company, and I hope that we will see each other again very soon. D. My <laughs> dearest Betty, I know that your art I is never yeeted that clock about ten minutes ago. True. <laughs> I have ever had the pleasure of meeting, and I am impatient to see you again. Oh my Adrian. god. Did it, did it just instantly just throw the clock? Just like smash it open. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, I, I mean, it would it, it would definitely save a lot of time. I'd be interested to hear it. It looks like Betty has a very busy life. To announce all blue lobster. Yeah, I think lobsters are really cool. But he liked luxury and going out. And being as pretty as she was, she probably did not have any problem getting herself invited. Crab is better than lobster. True. I, I, I think it's really cute, just like how round. Looking at all the crabs crab she took out, Betty must have had a problem deciding what to wear. Maybe she had a date.
Right, so what is next, gang? I guess not we the right time. It's not the right time. Their home is modest, but the Barnards are definitely music lovers. Right, right. I'm guessing we need to be upstairs for like one more thing. <laughs> is is probably going to start these up true? Without a doubt, Betty used to sing. And now, I sh I shall sing my hit single. I I've been working on this all week. Truly an emotional masterpiece. <laughs> a record sleeve with an unwritten title. Betty must have recorded the demo. Truly an inspirational m musician. Right. I think I need to find somewhere where we can use this key, actually. <laughs> he's he's one of the proudest of all by the Pearly King, Bert Poirot. <laughs> True. He's he's the world's greatest songwriter. Without a doubt, Betty used to sing. Right, right, okay, we need to find where the, where this key goes. down here. Oh, okay. I cannot open it. It looks like the mechanism is blocking. Oh. Let's see what's in there. A handle. So, what is this mechanism? I need a clue to help me make it work. Oh, let's see where you found the d d d Da Vinci code. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't work. Must have forgotten. Let us see. Studios. Oh, okay. Oh my good lord, what, what is this? <laughs> huh? 
case, that's like... So, jeez, we, we are working with numbers today. It's four. <laughs> yeah. This looks like solfege. There is probably a link with what I saw in the drawer. Can I just like blow up? Can I just like blow up this box instead? <laughs> that doesn't work. I must have forgotten. Right, uh, let's, let's try and figure this out. There is bound to be a clue somewhere. This is some deep stuff. Um, right. Right, so that's one, two, four, eight.
Donald appeared to be very much in love with your sister. Yes, he was mad about her. Mad, you say? Being madly in love can often be destructive, and Mr. Fraser was known for being jealous, I believe. No more than average. Men are always slightly <laughs> telling you to take the video draw. Yeah. Pretty woman. That is an instant just red flag. You are a poor liar, Mademoiselle Bernard. Excuse me, Mr. Poirot, but I do not see why you are interested in our humble little crime. It would appear that your sister's murder is the second in a series that we have to stop as quickly as possible. The first was in Andover, and the same as your sister, the murderer sent me a letter informing me that a crime would be committed in that town. Now can I count on your honesty? Yes, you have my confidence, Mr. Poirot. Don is a quiet Mr. and Poirot. sensitive young uh? man. Slightly reserved, too. And as is often the case with reserved people, when he flew into a temper, he completely lost control. He could be so violent. Betty was frightened. And when was this? The first time was about a year ago. But they rowed more recently. Donald found out that Betty had lied to him. She said she was going out with a girlfriend, but she went out for dinner with a married man. It was an awful scene. She told him that until they were married, she was free to go with whoever she pleased. Donald turned quite pale and started shaking and kept saying one day, one day, one day, <laughs> he'd commit murder. Dun dun dun. Do you think that is what happened? No, Mr. Poirot, I don't believe that. You yourself said he may be a recidivist madman. Don loved Betty with all his heart. I can't imagine the one <laughs> Sue says it was murder. <laughs> True. Very good, Mademoiselle Barnard. Thank you for your help. Fraser is at the Ginger Cat. The police haven't spoken to him, but they want to. Très bien, Hastings. Let's see him now. Au revoir, mademoiselle. My deepest condolences to your parents. Of course, Mr. Poirot. And don't be too hard on Don. He's more fragile than he looks. If you say so. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Right, right now we got to piece together. Uh, what did Buddy plan to do with her evening? Light it on like in the hit game among us. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, the the new uh, Among Us update is is r r r really fun. And uh, this is. Oh, okay. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Yeah, I've not played it yet. It's been a while, definitely. Yeah, like it, it is. It it's been a long time. Yeah, and 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 they started like adding those mods to 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 the base game. Yeah, let's make a bonus behavior hiding.
Oh, the person who made VR version. Oh, yeah, there's a there's a VR there's there's a VR version in um I, th I think VR chat or it could be its own game. Hastings always pays more attention when young women are being questioned. Mr. Poirot, I don't like being stared at. <laughs> true, SJ, true. It's, it's definitely not worth attempting. <laughs> You've seen Fraser, Hastings. What is your feeling? He's a big chap. Fragile isn't exactly the word that springs to mind. I talked to his landlady before seeing him. She went to bed at 11. Fraser wasn't home yet. Yeah. Megan Barnard said he is a reserved character, but with a nasty temper. With a nasty temper. see if this is the case. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm a big fan of his voice. Right, where's where's Hastings going? I, I, I like that Hastings is like a guide as to like where where to go next. Because because I because I would get lost very easily. Hastings appears to be ill at ease. I fear that this case is far from being solved. Come on, Poirot, you'll find the killer. Cert. But how many times we? <laughs> oh, uh, good word in the Allo, Allo TV series. I, I've, uh, uh, I've never seen that. How do you do, Mr. Fraser? You Hercule Poirot. Mr. Hastings said you wanted to speak to me. Oh my God, what yes. is this? <laughs> I know that it may not be at the right time, but I would like to ask you a few questions. This man looks suspicious. <laughs> if if he looks suspicious, it's prob he's probably not the one. <laughs> Why is J Cram got voice lines in the <laughs> Is actually J Cram, isn't it? <laughs> Donald Fraser is in a terrible state. As if he hadn't slept all night. And he's drinking white horse. Leave me alone. L leave me alone. <laughs> I haven't got Jack to play Ace Combat and Spelunky too. It's a mistake. That Betty isn't dead. <laughs> Sadly, Amazing. Your lady friend has been murdered, Mr. Fraser. Oh, Betty, if only you'd listened. All right. Did you visit Betty yesterday afternoon? No, I haven't seen Betty for two days. I was at the office yesterday afternoon. Can you prove that? Can you prove that? Oh. Of course. But why this question? Oh, it seems like the Betty game was about to crash. Evening, didn't <laughs> she? But, 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 but luckily you managed to power through it. Betty was murdered during the night, but that does not prove that she did not meet a murderer earlier in the day. So am I a suspect? Everybody close to Betty is a suspect, Mr. Fraser. 
I would be a very poor detective if I did not examine all possible eventualities. Do you know what Betty's plans were yesterday evening? She said she was having dinner with her sister. Yet, Megan only returned to Bexhill this morning, Mr. Freezer. Mm. I didn't know. Right. May I ask you what you were doing yesterday evening? I spent the evening working. Your colleagues can confirm this? No. I often take work home with me. Therefore, you have no alibi, Mr. Fraser. That's right. But that doesn't make me a murderer, Mr. Poirot. I would like you to leave now, please. No, you still need to answer questions. Ah, I knew I'd find you here, Poirot. I thought the victim's young man was here. Yes, he's all yours, Chief Inspector. Let us now try and get our brand cells to work. There's a, there's a lot of this putting things together, isn't there? And uh, they don't have a motive. Let's go out and big deal. Ah. Uh. Yeah, if, if if it was him that 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 seems like it would be a bit too easy. Fraser doesn't have an alibi and he's extremely jealous. You are very skilled at summing up. And yet you haven't asked Jap to arrest him. It is too soon. But I agree, without the letters announcing the crimes, Fraser would already be behind bars. Bon, I think we have enough elements. Let's reconstruct the events at the scene of the crime. I can't imagine how the murderer wasn't seen, though. Surely she must have struggled. Let us try and imagine the scene. Okay. The killer and the victim are walking on the beach. Miss Betty has a bag, a belt around her waist, and carries her shoes in her hand. Both of them walk slowly to act number five. Both of them walk slowly to act number six. Yeah, and that's the one. Miss Betty enters the hut. She leaves without her belongings. Then she hides a code. They keep walking. Then she removes her belt. The murderer moves behind her and then attacks her by surprise. The body falls, lifeless, on the sand. Everything appears to match the crime scene, Moshe Hastings. That is exactly what happened. Wiping a silk belt. On, on your neck in the first place. That, 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 that just seems really ABC, weird. We might have suspected Mr. Asher and Mr. Fraser. But by signing his crimes, the murderer is making sure he's accused. In a way, it is very generous of him. Generous? The murderer seduced Betty in order to lure her to the beach and kill her. 
Indeed, the young woman was certainly careless, but not stupid enough to follow a stranger. What are you planning to do, Poirot? Return to London, mon cher Hastings. to the crime scene but I've already done that oh okay and now we go back right back to London Jap has decided to reveal details to the press. The alphabet murder is now famous. It is not a bad idea. The more people who know, the greater our chances of finding out something of interest. Poirot, I have a bad feeling. Poor Mr. Poirot, not so good at these little criminal matters as you thought yourself, are you? Rather past your prime, perhaps. Let us see if you can do any better this time. This time, it's an easy one. Churston on the 30th. Do try and do something about it. It's a bit dull having it all my own way, you know. Good hunting. Ever yours, ABC. Strange, all right. Good hunting. Did you hear that, Poirot? The murderer seems to be taking it all as a game, a challenge. He will strike on 30th in Churston. We must warn Scotland Yard. No time to lose. We must prepare our suitcases for Churston. Mon Dieu, it is already 10 o'clock. I will call Scotland Yard immediately. <laughs> all, the, all the trophies are just different types of moustaches. Hello, chap. We received a new letter from ABC in the 10 o'clock post. Where and when? In Cheston. Today. Today? I'll inform the population immediately. I'll check the train times. Call me back. Hastings, what you are doing is an absolute disaster. That is no way to pack suitcases. Heavens, we must hurry. We have to get to Churston before <laughs> the murder. In full population, yeah. Just make just a massive, just a massive announcement. <laughs> By giant ho hologram. <laughs> Things, order and method are always necessary, regardless of the circumstances. Okay, okay. I'll let you pack them. All the same, it really is a disgrace to leave your belongings in such a mess. Only took a minute. Poirot, you were right. I've just consulted the ABC guide. There's no hurry. The next train doesn't leave till 11.45. You see, there is no need to hurry. We will not be in Churston until tomorrow morning. After the murder. But why has the murderer warned us so late? It's not what he usually does. Did he do it on purpose? Very good question, Hastings. We should also compare the letter we have just received with the other two. 
Also, I have very little doubt about what we will find. Not a good time. It is not a good time. Ah, some cool hair. To make it to uh, find cool at the moment. Right. Delhi Flicker, July 30, 1935. ABC affair, no progress. Alphabet murderer. Can we read the revote? Well, but it was a mistake. <laughs> the connection between the Bexil and Endover affairs, the inquiry has barely progressed. In this issue, uh, we are publishing provocative letters sent by the killer to Hercule Poirot. Unfortunately, they have not yet helped to find him. Daily Flicker, July the... Hastings, it would appear that you are getting slightly thin on top. Really? Hmm. Miss Haste, Haste. Poor Mr. Poirot, not so. Right, I'm guessing we have to analyze this, right? Right, let us compare this new letter with the second one. Let us examine this more closely. Certain characters in the two letters may have similar def Yes, this I is Yes, the I characters in the two letters do indeed I uh, have to find Right, right, then we have the W's mm, The W Uh, see Where's the W in this one? Of course, the W I have to find some other similar defects to confirm my theory. Oh, oh what the similar ones? All right. Hmm. Yes, the A appears. That's right. The A characters in the two letters do indeed have the same defects. My theory was right. These two letters were written with the same typewriter. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Right, right, let's piece this all together, shall we? Uh, Jeff has decided to reveal details to the press. The alphabet murderer is now famous. It's 6 p.m. Post my mental peak. The letter should have arrived in time. <laughs> True. The shows that it was sent three days ago. However, our man made a mistake in the address, which explains the delay. All the same, the post office took their time correcting the error. 
Come on, Poirot. Your address is not quite as well known as that of Scotland Yard. Poirot, the telephone. It must be Jap. <laughs> oh, my God. 6 p.m. Please, please. Imagine Pizza Hut was in the nineteen thirties. <laughs> Incredible. I have some news from Churchton. Bad news, I'm afraid. Sir Carmichael Clark was murdered while out on his evening walk. Sir Carmichael Clark. The name is familiar to me. He was a famous throat specialist, one of the best in London. A wealthy man. He retired to Combeside, a beautiful house by the sea. He collected antiques. Yeah, dude. Are you going there? The sound of voice yes, morphers is like so much fun to just <laughs> mess with. So great. Oh, this place. Um, I think. Uh, I think. I think this was um the area when 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 Jack's game crashed. I think. And it was like in the hotel area. The victim is called Sir Carmichael Clark, one of the best throat specialists in London. The body was still warm when we found it. If we had been warned earlier, one of the best throat specialists. I don't think he's much of a throat specialist when he ended up losing his throat. Lucky for him. And what if he did it on purpose? No, no. He's defined his madcap rules and he's sticking to them. It's a matter of pride for him. Shall we go up to the house, Poro? You go, my friends. I will come soon. But first, I must approach the seagull. This place is very calming. Oh, you don't get to stare at the seagull. Oh, 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 okay, yeah, y y y you, have, you have to let him comment about it. The site is exceptional. It is easy to imagine that Sir Carmichael used to enjoy stopping here every evening. Jap has emptied the victim's pockets and has laid out their content. It the is keys. pointless. How is it pointless? It's keys. <laughs> A signet ring, very probably with the Clark family's coat of arms. This key is pointless. I can't style my my moustache with this. Nothing appears to be missing from this wallet. <laughs> the one ring. <laughs> the one ring to rule them all. 
An oriental dragon. It's an old piece, much older than the pocket watch on which it was fastened. Sir Carmichael's throat was cut. It's a clean incision, a professional murder. Did Sephiroth do this? Apart from the wound to the throat, the body is untouched. No cuts, no bruises. An ABC guide. The murderer's customary signature, covered in blood this time. On a spread it to the Dolmio sauce all over the scene. It was it was the spaghetti again the entire time. <laughs> the gravel on the path has been sprayed with blood that covers a conical shape to Rhea, which starts at the body and becomes wider as it moves further from the bush. Yeah, how many people does <laughs> before he catches the bad guy. <laughs> Enough of them. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing since since it's called ABC, uh, like ABC murders, I'm guessing it's only, only three people. Has been trampled. The body is just in front of a bush, one of the only bushes in the surrounding area. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Brain cells to work. Hey, let's go. Sir Carmichael had his back to the bush when the killer cut the throat from behind. Oh, true, it's on P, yeah. I think, of a range of more than one I, th I, th I think that would be effective as like, uh, try and get as like a countdown. To work. You finish, Poirot? Chief Inspector, many questions remain unanswered, but I am certain of one thing. Uh, um, Poirot's name to start with uh, H because Hercule P P Poirot, so, so I'm guessing it's like a countdown to H. The killer has prepared his crime very carefully. Quite right. He must have known Sir Carmichael's movements well to plan such an attack. This time, theft may have been the motive for the crime. Theft? But we found a wallet full of banknotes on the body and a watch worth at least 50 pounds. Hmm, theft. I had forgotten these details. So we can exclude the theory of theft. Have you spoken to the victim's family, Chief Inspector? I've spoken to the brother, Franklin Clark. I didn't get much out of him. He's yours. I must get the body removed. To be honest, this inspector seems rather obtuse. I'm counting on your friend Poirot to catch my brother's murderer. Ah, here he is now. Please, Mr. Poirot. Mr. Poirot, this is my brother's secretary, Miss Thora Gray. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Poirot. Wait, Would you like some tea? Why do both counters have the exact friend. same voice? I can eat after digest. It is not the right time. It is not the right time. 
Hastings does not like very hot tea. He's going to blow on his cup for a good while before drinking. There is something elegant about her. You think? I, I think it's very scary. <laughs> She has good taste, except perhaps in her choice of jewelry. Please excuse me, I have to take care of Lady Clark. It is a once in a lifetime opportunity to question him. It is a once. My brother's wife is gravely ill. You will probably want to question her, but. I fear that it won't be possible today. I insist, Mr. Clark. Please allow me to remind you that this is a murder inquiry. Unfortunately, she is much too ill. She doesn't even know her husband is dead. I'm very sorry, but I'm afraid it's out of the question. Of course, I understand. Someone set a trap for your brother. Who was familiar with his habits? Everybody knew he took his evening walk at half past eight, and that he always followed the same path. Was it a dark night? It was a new moon. I took a lantern. So it was you who found the body? Yes, along with the gardener. Have you seen any strangers around the house recently? No. As far as I know, nobody has been near the house. Hmm. Miss Clark. Oh, Lady Clark must have fallen from her chair. I have to help Miss Gray get her up. Convenient. <laughs> Hastings, while our host is gone, let's examine the drawing room. But, Poirot, a gentleman shouldn't... I take full responsibility. All you have to do is to leave the drawing room door ajar and let me know if anyone is coming. <laughs> I love how he does such, such like a dramatic pose. Dragon, dragon, dragon. Sir Carmichael showed himself to be very consistent in his collection's theme. Interesting. A turtle. It is an emperor. His place at the center of the table is probably symbolic. Interesting. A tiger. Comside's private collection purchases since 1920. The catalogue for Sir Carmichael Clark's collection. A dragon. Compass, point to the thals. Bronze and magnetite. Right, is there, is, is there anything else to look at? 
Or am I done here? Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm done here. They have some very valuable of It is blocked. The cardinal points. This book could maybe help me. Nice. Each cardinal point is associated mm. with one animal and one color. In the middle sit. Turned towards him. Okay, so so everything needs to be turned Turtle, towards him. The dragon, the crane, and the tiger. I think I've already seen this motif somewhere. Right. So you will need need to face him. The position of each motif is correct, but they are not turned the same way as on the table. Oh, it's the dots. The position of each motif resembles that of those on the table. Right, so so we need to match it. Turtle, the dragon, the crane, and the tiger. I think I've already seen this motif somewhere. Position of each motif resembles that of those on the table. I think I had a bang. Could it be this cupboard? This is interesting. Oh, this stuff is huge. These daggers are only ceremonial weapons. Ernest Luggan, MD Brighton Cancer Institute, 201 Dusk Road, Brighton, Sussex. To Sir Carmichael Clark, MD Comsite Cheston, Devon. Brighton, 1935, January the 5th. As a man of science, I owe it to you to be completely frank. Lady Clark, your wife is suffering from a generalized terminal cancer. I confess I didn't suspect anything like that during the first exams. But with the test results I received today, there 
is unfortunately no place for doubt. Okay. I estimate that Lady Clark's life expectancy is no more than one year. Hospitalization would not help in her case. So I advise you to keep her at home and provide her with as much morphine as required to ease her last moments. Your sincerely, Ernest Logan. Here's Miss Gray. Sorry to keep you waiting. Lady Clark's condition requires regular care. I believe you want to ask me a few questions. Indeed, mademoiselle. This porcelain is remarkable. Is it old? It's about three centuries old, I believe. Wait, let me find the reference. She appears to be very flustered. minute please mr poro she's unable to hide her emotion and her makeup has been disturbed i think that this young woman has just been kissed here teapot with black dragon gangshi period end of the 17th you have a good knowledge of art history. Acquired while working with Sir Carmichael. I used to help him manage his collection. <laughs> Fantastic moustache. I, I love just all these types of just moustaches. Did you have a good relationship with your employer? He treated me well, and I am sorry for his death. Have you seen any strangers hanging around in the past few days? No. Nobody has been near Comside. Tell me what happened last night. After dinner? Well, I did some sewing, and then I went to bed. I was woken by the telephone at 11. I heard Franklin Clark speaking with the gardener. They left with some lanterns and they found the body. Hmm. What are your feelings about Franklin Clark? What an odd question. Of course I think he's a good man. He's Energetic, nice, very sociable. Okay. Miss Gray, if I may be so bold, please do not take offense. My friend has rather unusual methods, but all he wants is to find the murderer. Yes, I understand. I must rest. Please excuse me. Earlier, you asked me to watch the living room door for you. I don't wish to be indiscreet, but sometimes a gentleman stumbles upon a secret without intending to. That is sometimes the case. And I saw Franklin Clark kissing Miss Gray at the foot of the stairs. Do you think this is a common occurrence? No, I saw emotion, intensity. I think it was their first kiss. Well done, mon ami. Well spotted. However, I don't think I completely understand this business. Why did Sir Carmichael not defend himself? He appeared to have been active and strong. The murderer did not give him a chance. Sir Clark is taking his customary walk. Our killer is hiding behind a bush. The old man walks quietly along the gravel path.
but he turns towards the sea to gaze at it. The killer leaves his hiding place on the right-hand side. He approaches silently over the grass. Then he throws himself on his prey and cuts the poor man's throat. Dun, dun, dun. He then lays down the ABC before leaving. Everything appears to match the crime scene, Monsha Hastings. That is exactly what happened. Just a minute, I'm getting dressed. Wait, 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 why would they reveal the killer already? Come on, man. Mr. Kirst, have you recently returned from Churston? Uh, yes, yes, indeed I have. Have you seen the papers? And do you think that you might have rubbed shoulders with the killer? Imagine that. Mr. Cust, are you all right? You don't seem well. My apologies. My throat is burning and my head feels heavy. It's ever since the war, you know. Since my injury, my head has never been the same. Damn. Poirot, it's a pleasure to be with you again after all these years. I looked for a gift to thank you, and I found this propelling pencil. An authentic collector's item. You spoil me, mon ami. And you more so by sharing investigations. Do not underestimate the help you are to me, as things intellect is not everything. There is also goodwill, and you are not short of that. Later, I will ask you to help me tidy up the room and bring some chairs. Our guest will be here soon. Ah, is Thora Grey coming? Naturally. She is a fascinating young woman, n'est-ce pas? Oh, come on, Poirot. I'm a married man. And Miss Gray has already been courted by Franklin Clark. Poirot, our guests will be here soon. We must prepare ourselves. Oh, I should take God, everyone is here. to examine them. What find object select the only for the observer? Press and Y. song says sometimes I love a blonde who comes from Eden by way of Sweden sometimes I love a brunette sometimes I love a blonde oh oh my god I have to do that again no nah, okay it's good good Donald is always on hedge. Leave me alone. Where's the last detail?
Donald Fraser is very nervous at the moment, even if he's trying hard to control himself. She appears to have taken more care with her appearance than the last time. She's looking at Mr. Fraser out of the corner of her eye. Did she make herself beautiful for him? Franklin Clark always seems at ease, regardless of where he is. Something that's unique to people who travel. Huh. Right, one of two. So what's so where's the second one? should take advantage of the sun. I hope to concentrate on my guests. Oh, oh okay. Okay, y you just need to talk to I wish to thank you all for coming. I wanted to bring everyone close to the victims here in order to unmask the murderer. Get to the point, Mr. Poirot. What do you want from us? Megan, dear girl, please be patient. Mr. Prorog, how dare you address me by my first name? <laughs> please excuse me, mademoiselle. What I ask is that you search your memories. The murderer must have left some trace. Yes, he must have prepared his crimes very carefully. Tout à fait. He did not get to Bexhill at midnight in order to strangle a young girl whose name by chance starts with P. Must we go into that? It was Chef Boyardi. <laughs> no, of course. Not if it makes you uncomfortable. Come on, Mr. Poirot. I imagine we all feel terribly young. It's true. We've to catch the killer, not... Mr. Fraser, please get a grip on yourself. <laughs> well, Papa's related to you, it's true. I don't remember anything else. Nothing I haven't already said. Pasta. You, That's Barnard, impossible. Did your sister say she was seeing <laughs> other man? She never would have told me. As a bolognese sauce again. Why would she hide the fact from you? Betty knew I didn't approve of her behavior. Her flirting was spoiling any chance she might have had. Tell me, mademoiselle, what did you talk about with your sister? Silly things. Her new dress. She wanted a pair of black stockings to go with it. Mother bought her a brand new pair. The day it happened, she was crying. And to think that Betty never even wore them. Poor mummy. Your sister used to sing, I believe. Did she ever perform in public? She dreamt about it, but she had a very bad cough. It troubled her greatly. She had to cancel auditions and miss lots of opportunities. A pity. Yes, she sang well, but that doesn't tell us much about the murderer. Qui sait? In any case, we now have enough information to draw up a relatively precise psychological profile. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. That's uh, not as pretty. I love all of the caption is this clever.
Yeah, definitely. The thing is, I already works in it, and I heard the batteries kind of used to fall out. Big reveal, yeah. Yeah, the, 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 there was also a cut scene uh, earlier that the, the, just, just showed who, who the murderer was. And I was just like, oh, that's unfortunate. Come so, on. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we can now surmise without too much risk of error that our adversary is calculative, sure of himself, a seducer of outstanding intelligence, that he has plenty of self-control and that he likes railways. I think, I think it would be great if, if they made like new new stories. I hope that you will be able to come back again. Well, it's just that. Well, Mademoiselle Drawer, do you wish to help us or not? Oh, Mister. It's normal that people helping with this inquiry should be reimbursed. <laughs> Starting with you, Miss Drower. Please allow me to pay for your train tickets. Yeah, but a bit often oh, to, to not make up with the original story. I cannot stick. accept. Po po Poirot's name, but wasn't it? Must. Definitely, yeah. Rich, but my brother left a it, it, it seems a bit weird to like, so it's like Poirot fans when they've already well, read the, the story that Mr. the game Poirot, is. Would it be possible for you to come back to Devon? Lady Clark has expressed a wish to see you. We'll adjust her medicine so she'll not be too drowsy. But of course, I shall come the day after tomorrow if it is. Thank you all for coming. We will meet again soon. The meeting was most fruitful. Really? Hastings, I believe now we have everything we need to find a common point between the victims. Now it is time for us to use our grey matter. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Uh, what do the victims have in common? Victims haven't come. <laughs> They're all dead. True. Problems. Right, I'm guessing they all have problems, right? The first two victims suffered from bad throat. And that was precisely the speciality of the third victim, Dr. Clark. We have a lead. It would pay to take a closer look at the medical records of Dr. Clark's patients. We'll do so during our next visit to Justin. I will do it myself, mon ami. You must remain in London just in case ABC sends us another letter. Very well, as you wish. Oh, no, we, we, we had to leave Hastings b behind. Thank you for coming, Mr. Poirot. Lady Clark is waiting for you in her bedroom on the first floor. Please excuse me, I cannot stay for the interview. I have to take... Are you going on holiday, mademoiselle? Not exactly, Mr. Poirot. Miss Gray very kindly stayed with me to settle my brother's affairs. But naturally, she prefers to find a position in London. Ah, très bien. I'll be absent all morning, Mr. Poirot, but the nurse is coming soon. She's to ensure that the dose of medicine doesn't make our patient drowsy. Thank you, Mr. Clark. Have a nice trip, mademoiselle. He appeared to be shaking for a second there. And, and of course, there's a mirror, so... You, 
You, you go to stare at the mustache. <laughs> it is not the right time. April 1925, Aceh Province, Sumatra. Right. Now, what else is there to analyze? Be rude to make teeth. Yeah, I think I think that should be at least something, right? Peter, let you eyes, maybe. April 19. Sumatra. Huh. I think, um, I'm guessing we'll, we'll have to come back to it. It's closed. Be rude to make <laughs> be rude to make. Right, okay, let's 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 this look as person is very ill. These are his very shaky hands. Clenched fists? What? Don't look like this. <laughs> oh lady was acceptable. Tell the nurse to hurry. Please. True. Right. What else is there to observe? That? Oh, okay. This woman is suffering. She is in no state to have a conversation. Would be rude to me. Mr. Poirot? My respects, madame. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Have you seen the nurse? The telephone in the hall is ringing.
Lady Clark is in pain. It's closed. Right. I guess, I guess we have to go and get the food. Lady Clark is in pain. The Clark residence. Detective Hercule Poirot speaking. How do you do, Mr. Poirot? I'm Lady Clark's nurse. I wanted to let you know that I won't be able to come for her in... She has just left, but I will take care of it. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Um, you'll find the skeleton key to open the medicine cabinet skeleton hidden in the key? trophy. You can count on me. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Oh, thank you kindly. Goodbye, Mr. Poirot. Skeleton key totally isn't ominous or anything. It is not the right... In, in the Lion Trophy. I do not need to. Right. Skeleton key. It is not the right. I won't use the spring of it. Lady Clark is in pain. I Clark is in pain. Right, okay. So it definitely wants us to be here. Do anything to the further? Hmm. Kind of stumped.
Okay, 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 apparently there's two clues, but I don't see where the second one is. Oh. Here is the skeleton key. I I feel really stupid. <laughs> Lady Clark is in pain. It is not the right time. Lady Clark is in. The, the entire time you're supposed to react, you're supposed to use that same thing twice. It's crazy. Lady Clark is. Same. Wait, this is Lady Clark. Is Th this stuff is just it's crazy. Lady Clark is in. Lady Clark is. <laughs> this is put Lady Clark out of her misery. <laughs> ah, we 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 found the ABC murderer. Now get ready for DEF murderer. <laughs> Amazing. Ah, Mr. Poirot. Ah, I feel better now. Thank you for your help. Uh. Madam, you are tired, so I will get straight to the point. What can you tell me about this business? What business, Mr. Poirot? No doubt. You wish to talk to me about what happened to your husband? Ah, yes. Oh, poor Carmichael. Has the madman who killed him been caught? Not yet, chère madame. There was a great many people in Cheston on the day of the murder. Indeed. People go straight to the beach. They don't come near Coombe's side. So, there were no strangers around the house that day? Who said that? The people who live here. Your brother-in-law, Miss Gray. Miss Gray? Oh, I don't like her. Franklin wanted her to stay, but I insisted she should go. Immediately. You are entitled to do so, not really? I'm pleased that you approve. The others have been taken in by her. But at least you can see through that self-pity act. See what she's up to. Oh. She's sleeping. I must find a way to... Find a way to wake up, gently. Okay. Silver comb. This is where the combs go. Things will not be crossed with me. Wow, okay. Does not make any sound. Peculiar, okay. 
and look into this. This part appears to be working. This is where the comms go. This is where the comms go. This part appears to be working. This part appears to be working. Right, I'm going to see if we can find any, any more items. Because I want to see if we can take anything else. I've finished with this subject. I've finished with this subject. This subject will probably be useful to me. Oh, there's two combs. So, so it seems like we have the wrong comb. The bones comb is preventing me from... That Hastings will not be cross with me. <laughs> oh, I better well see you. It'll be awkward being a double century. Right, let's, let's try this and see if this works. Does not make any sound. Does not make any sound. This part appears to be working. The bones comb is preventing me from... Hmm? There's... <laughs> There's gun in the hinges. Play it below the... Oh, true, yeah. This part appears to be working. Right. So, so if there's one and three, that does not make any sound. Does not make any sound. Right. So we need to find one last one. Does not make any sound. Right. I think we need one last comb. This subject would probably be useful to me. Oh, okay, it was right there the whole time. <laughs> Right, and now let's put them in. Hey, 
Hastings will not be cross with me. Incredible. Oh, what are we talking about? Ah, yes. Uh, Thora Gray. Oh, Carmichael had great esteem for her. But for me, she was nothing but a hypocrite. Miss Gray was a hard worker, though. Thank goodness. Fortunately, she was good at her job. I don't see why you all think you should have to defend that girl. Well, I appear to have been wrong about Thora Gray. So, you all agree how nice it is to be all of the same mind. Miss Gray did look after you very well, though. Outwardly. But she's hiding something. I think she tried to poison me. Miss Gray? Poisoner? But everybody appears to like her. It proves she knows what she's doing. She's manipulative and she's a liar. A liar? Let's see, didn't she say Best among on the day of the crime nobody was around Coombside? That is correct. Well, at eleven o'clock I saw her talking to someone. Really? And what was this man like? An ordinary sort of man, with a very plain face. Oh, I don't remember well. Was he a gentleman? No, he was not, not a gentleman. It would be best to leave her to sleep now. The telephone in the hall is ringing. I'm curious about how many chapters Hello? there are. Poirot, is that you? Hastings here. Thank you for calling. Have you received a new letter from the murderer? No, thank goodness. How are things in Churston? I question Lady Clark, but I will not leave until I have examined everything of interest to me here. Fortunately, Franklin is absent, and I have a skeleton key. Have you seen Thora Gray again? Briefly. But rest assured, I intend to summon her to London soon. She's a fascinating girl. But secretive. I would like to ask her a few questions. Poirot, she wouldn't hurt a fly. Each to his own, my friend. Yours are pretty often mine old ladies that have the maladies. Poirot, are you mocking me? No ill intended, rest assured. How am I going to open this trunk? Let us examine it. Uh, wait, what? Hey? Hey, uh, Mace, and w w welcome. How's it going? It it it, it was Miss Scarlet with the lead pipe in the lounge. Very true. That does not appear to be very useful. That 
does not appear to be very what do you mean that's not very useful <laughs> uh oh twist of it you <laughs> true yeah 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 and, yeah and how's it going Uh, let's see, 1927, let's, let's try that one. 27. Leaving the code on the trunk. What a strange character Franklin yeah. is. Yeah, you didn't say you like say say for what I dropped in it. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm doing really good, ain't it? And thanks for dropping in, man. And uh, 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 and I hope your day's been going great. Twelve o'clock. Range, okay. Twenty eight, thirty one. It was going great until I saw a, a giant worm in my yard. It th thought it was a skipping rope. Amazing. It sounds like you found like an entire squad of just uh, uh, like l l l like a giant snake. <laughs> right. Let's go twenty. So, what is this sound? Yeah, it, it, it's so weird. Well, like, it was massive. Be able to open the trunk now. Yeah, is it? It sounds like an absolute monster. There we are. Still more to it. My God, this thing is elaborate. This is a very elaborate box. Oh, what do we have here? Why has Franklin put an Allen key inside his trunk? I'll borrow it for a minute. It chased you into the house? Jeez, well, I've, I've never actually seen a worm ch 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 chase a one before, so, so th 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 that's actually very surprising. Whiskey and other good quality drinks. Mr. Clark really has refined tastes. Whiskey and other good. Right. Guessing we use these, right? Uh, anything suspicious about these? Triangle. And the triangle is up there. I 
pile of books, including one about dragons. Nothing interesting. What do you mean, nothing interesting? Nothing more to this door has nothing more to offer me. Okay, so so since you, we can still interact with the draws, it has to be something, right? Okay, that, 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 that just interacts with that. This is actually really confusing. <laughs> This is elaborate as hell. to choose the individual keys that you want to use. And 
Ah, ça se crouve. This engraving is not very easy to understand. I need to sort it out. I think kind of what this is supposed to be. It is blocked. Right, okay. All of these had to connect in some way. Franklin must really love his country to have an engraving in his trunk. Oh, there we go. I think I heard the panel above release. written on it. Fifteen eighty seven. It may be useful to me. Fifteen eighty seven. should be placed here. The plates around the picture appear to have unlocked. I think I've already seen these symbols on Franklin's trophies. Siberia Archipelago.
I am completely lost. <laughs> South Africa? Lion of Sumatra. The Alaskan Kodiak Bear. Kudu. Kudu. I heard the sound of a mechanism. Strange way of protecting one's safe. Triangulating one's hunting sites on the map. Right. The ring, right? Fifteen eighty seven. Hope you would have this is why I don't escape the room tree. True, like, like, like these, these puzzles are just crazy. These documents are very likely going to help me for the rest of the inquiry. A dozen gold sovereigns, some shares for the Southern Railway and some treasury bills. This is not... Eton College School Year, 1912-1913, Franklin Clark. Move the day, yeah. School report for Franklin Clark. According to his teachers, Franklin was a good student, but lacked discipline. Sir Carmichael Clark, Campside, Churston, Devon, to Mr. Franklin Clark, Peninsula Hotel, Salisbury Road, Tsinchasui, Kowloon, Hong Kong, Campside, 1935, January the 12th. Dear Franklin, first, I wish you a good start to a successful new year. I have received your letter dated December 10th. Thanks for defending my interest against Wang, this robber. Things could have got pretty bad if you weren't a real good-blooded guy. I envy you for that. Things go on here much as usual. Charlotte is moderately free from pain. I wish one could say more. You may remember Thora Gray. She is a dear girl and a greater comfort to me that I can tell you. I should not have known what to do through this bad time but for her. She has an exquisite taste and shares my passion for Chinese art. You wrote me you want to stay in China for one more year or even... I am, dear Franklin. Charlotte Clark Comside, Churston, Devon. To mm -hmm. Mr. Franklin Clark, Peninsula Hotel, Salisbury Road, Chin Shatsui. Colon, Hong Kong, Comside, 1935, January 1st. 
I wish you with all my heart a happy year 1935. Writing my greeting cards, I have affectionate thoughts for you. Always smiling as a child, sailing to distant countries and bringing back to us trunks full of wonder. Oh, he's um, he's reading the letters. Everything annoys me. Starting with this young Thora, Sir Carmichael is so fond of. I have nobody to share mm, my feelings really with. Weird. So I write to you. How can I tell you what happens to me? The simplest way, the better. I am doomed. I opened the secret drawer of Carmichael and... <laughs> He's been in the wine again, Sir, true. I know. But my husband doesn't know, I know. He he Please broke into the vault and then just decided to... He shares the truth with you. Ch 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 Chuggle the alcohol. Car will probably speak in his usual convoluted way. But I wanted to be the first. It does matter to me. February 19 July 1920 Oh my god that box looks crazy Franklin appears to be very active. Franklin Clark appears to be a typical British gentleman. A good sportsman, a hunter, a traveller. Chinese symbol is engraved on this metal disc. Like this, this character appears to be the right way round. Like this, this character. The position of this character looks right to me. <laughs> this character yeah. appears to be the wrong way round. I should continue to step like this. This character appears to right and now, and now, and now we need to find the order in which they go like this. This character appears. like this. This character appears to be very good. All well, well, the characters engraved on this padlock resemble.
No, it's not the high code. Top one is that one. Set correctly. Alright. Oh, see. Okay. Uh, okay. It's, it's in like an order. Okay. So, so the fourth one is that. Yeah, definitely. Because it's like one, two, three, and then all, all, all the way on the right, four. So, let's check out what number one is. It's that one. Think, I think no, that's it's not the height. Like yeah, I know, Paul. Right? Hang on a sec. Right, let's go for number two. And uh, simple one. And uh, that's the double P. And that's the P and E, yeah. And and there you go. At last, the cupboard is open. A mat, flask, and rifles. Franklin is very well equipped. Genteel and wild, English countryside revisited. Uh, let's check this one. The railway children in Nesbit. For Franklin, on Tefis Christmas. Traveling in China. So we have everything we can, we can get here. <laughs> you have to c confirm you can't touch it. True. Yeah, g give it an extra touch just to be extra sure. Door is locked. And you see skeleton key. This unit contains the medical records for Sir Carmichael Clark's patients. Let us study them closely and see if there are any familiar names. Familiar we'll test on the records from A to D. They've been handled recently. No known names. To support Lots of dust. The records. No, no, nay. Sir Carmichael's collection could rival that of a major museum. Comside's private. The catalogue for Sir Cam. Hmm, okay. Already 
already seen similar daggers. A dark dragon for a bright haired maid. See. Attention, Franklin. Task list. A. Ordering Lady Clark remedies. Done. B. Tidying up real estate key. property files. Done. C. Calling the lawyer. A e. Update land rent accounting. Some yeah. yeah, clearly all guys people is like pathic murderers. That that's what this game has taught me so far. True. Yeah, yeah. It, if they organize, it's a bit uh, suspicious. <laughs> All right, is, is there anything else? Oh, this is something, isn't it? Traditional Chinese map. Salt is on the top of it. Okay. Believe that's everything. I am not going to leave comms. Thoragray com arsenic trioxide thallium. The black dragon's curse. To Franklin, who will never grow up. January twenty five, nineteen twenty eight. Car Charlotte. Right, I'm guessing we oh, I'm guessing we just go now, right? I see some papers that were not there the first time. Oh, okay. Valuers report property. Building land location. Court and Brunskill. Runs the old. Okay. These daggers are only ceremonial weapons. I do not think that the crime weapon is here. Ernest Logan, MD, Brighton Cancer Institute, 201 Dust Could Road, you, Brighton, uh, Sussex. Uh, okay, to okay. Sir Carmichael Clark, MD, Comsite, Cheston, Devon. Brighton, nine. Lady Clark, your wife is suffering from a generalized. I estimate that Lady Clark. Right, right. Okay, we 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 managed to get what I'm saying. The mansion surroundings. Right, so we go outside. Where is the horrible smell of carrion coming from?
Something makes me feel... Tut -tut. The gardener does not follow the alignment. There, that's better. It is symmetrical. Round pellets. <laughs> Revolting. There, that's better. It is. Okay, so it's like a dead mouse there. Nothing else. I would like to congratulate Clark's gardener. What symmetry. This wisteria is in full bloom. Oh, Dots has got an honest review of a character's fashion sense. And, and the honest <laughs> The other review is, is, is of Shaggy Rogers. I think it is a perfect 10 out of 10. The, the, the absolute peak of, of character d d design. He's, he's as fashionable as he is powerful. The pinnacle of alpha male. I I I I completely agree. This fountain makes a very relaxing sound. Hmm. I heard you one shot Sasuke. Yeah, and and that is incredibly canon. Probably the gardener who lit this fire. Look here. I wonder if someone wanted to get rid of these papers. Oh. The subject would probably be useful to me. Oh, we're going to put all of the pieces of paper to get how brand cells to work. together. Personal belongings behind. I don't get what you're supposed to use.
There you go. Everything that Thor Grey has left behind comes from Sir Carmichael's collection. He most probably gave them to her. But she chose to leave them here rather than run the risk of being accused of theft. It is understandable when you know just how much Lady Clark mistrusts her. Let us now try and get... Thor a poisoner. Thor Grey had no reason to kill someone who only had a few months left to live. <laughs> the poison she ordered was for rats. The gardener must have made good use of it, considering the stinking remains on the path not far from the property. <laughs> I've finished here. I must put the skeleton key back and inform Hastings that I'm returning to London. Greenhouse. It must hold some rare plants. Uh, okay, time to return the skeleton key. Perfect. Nothing else is keeping me here. I am not going to leave Comsign now. I still have. Oh, okay, Hastings. we've got cool Hastings. I have finished in Shirtstown. I will take the first train. Tell me, do you know how to restore writing on a... Yes, you just have to soak a cloth with a hydrochloric acid solution and rub the sheet of paper. Then the characters appear. Bien. You have been of great assistance, Hastings. Could you please order the solution as soon as possible? Of course, but what documents do you want to read? You will see, my friend. À ce soir. Donald Fraser is here. He insisted on waiting to see you. This man is tired. <laughs> Detective Valkyrie is on the case. Hell yeah. Uh, just welcome, welcome Kill to Don. How is it going? Donald is short of sleep, and it looks as if he didn't even bother to undress before going to bed. I don't know how, how you how you doing. I I'm doing amazing, and I, I also really good to hear that you you you're you're also doing well. This bottle is for her visit. Mon ami, it is a pleasure to be with. Mr. Paddle, I don't know why I'm here. Hmm. You 
wanted to talk, and you came to find the only man capable of hearing you. Mr. Paros, since Betty's death, I've doubts about myself. I don't know what to do. And I keep having a horrible dream three nights in a row. Have a drink and tell me about this dream. It's always the same. I'm on the beach with Betty. I grab her around the throat and I squeeze and squeeze until she's dead. It's <laughs> Jake Rob. True. And I see that it's no longer Betty, it's Megan's face. Have you seen Megan Barnard recently? Yes, our grief has brought us together. I never really knew her before. She's really quite a remarkable girl. But I would never tell her about my dream. Why not? Is it her you are attacking in your dream? No, it's Betty. And once Betty is dead... Very interesting. Very interesting. Let us now try and get her... Right. True, Mason, true. Did he get mixed up with the desert? Mr. Fraser, I, I think that I, the meaning of this I mean, they both get sand. Uh, the theme of how sand. True. Please go on. Do. This dream certainly betrays your guilt. Oh. But what do you feel guilty about? Having killed your fiance? Possible. Or forgetting her very quickly for her sister? Certainly. And this forgetting is perceived as a second death. So you don't really think I was the one who killed Betty? I do not exclude this theory. I am simply saying that I do not need to know that fact to explain your dream and your guilt. Thank you for being frank, Mr. Poirot. You've helped me a great deal. I'm going back to bed. It is late, Mr. Fraser, and you are tired. I'll sleep on the train. Poor boy, he seems completely lost. Well, women seem to like him. I think Megan will take care of him. Oh, I remember. Did you order the product I needed? Yes, we'll be receiving it tomorrow. Bien, it is late, and I ask Miss Gray to come tomorrow morning. I have a few questions I wish to ask her. Mademoiselle, I asked you here in order to answer a very important question. <laughs> the punch drugs are illegal and missed poor tree. Yes, it, it was me all along. <laughs> Tell me about your meeting with the murderer. But what are you talking about? Yet, Lady Clark maintained that she saw you talking to a stranger on the front doorstep. Really? She must have been mistaken. Oh, oh my god. I remember now. <laughs> I'd forgotten all about it, but it wasn't important. It was just a salesman. One of those traders who sell stockings from door to door. Can you describe him to me? Medium size, glasses, dark suit, and a felt hat. Not the sort of man you notice. Completely harmless. That's why I forgot all about him. Nothing else? 
He was very hesitant and shy. Usually, door-to-door -door salesmen are very confident, but he wasn't. Hmm. You also forgot to tell me that you had been fired. You never asked me. It was Franklin who led you to believe that I left voluntarily. He's more chivalrous than you. I don't wish to lie. Lady Clark did not appreciate my presence. And Franklin cannot go against the wishes of a sick lady. He is a good man. And <laughs> is a great deal sister in law. I noticed that you left some personal belongings behind at Churston. It was too risky for you to keep these objects, am I correct? Risky? What was the risk? You know very well what Lady Clark might have said if you had kept these objects. Indeed. These objects were gifts. But Lady Clark would have been convinced that I'd stolen them. By returning them, I put an end to such evil gossip. Yeah. I must ask you one last question. Please reply frankly with either yes or no. If Lady Clark had died, would you have agreed to marry Sir Carmichael if he'd ask you? How dare you ask such a question? Sir Carmichael treated me just like his daughter. And all that I ever felt him was affection and gratitude, nothing else. Thank you, mademoiselle. I will not keep you any longer. I met Thora Gray on the stairs. Her cheeks were ablaze, and she appeared to be deeply hurt. Poirot, have you offended the poor girl again? Do you have good reasons for accusing her? I accused her of nothing, Hastings. I simply asked her an important question she did not answer. Let us see if we can answer it for her. Let us now try and get our brand. Uh, so we might succumb or something. Hmm. know how to read between the lines, Hastings. When Sir Carmichael refers to paternal affection, he is lying to himself. Read this engraving on the brooch. A dark dragon for an angel with glossy hair. These are the words of a lover, not a father. Lady Clark was not wrong. What if Sir Carmichael had fallen in love with his secretary? That doesn't mean that she forced him to do so. True, there are extenuating circumstances. She is a penniless orphan. But she's calculating. Just... I see. You think she seduced Sir Carmichael for her own gain, and that now she is doing the same with his brother. Praro, your world is a very dark place. Do not get carried away, mon ami. We have another more important matter to settle. Really? Yes. Would you believe that Miss Grey taught me something new? Let us now try and get... Her 
So another common point between the murders. Killed by a murderer, true. Uh, I'm curious as to what the link is supposed to be. Side.
horses the stockings, it's right? Clear. This thing's <laughs> perfectly clear. Indeed, a stocking seller visited Andover, Bexhill, and Churston on the day of each murder. We have our suspect. This should be of interest to Jop. The stockings every time. Ah, some cool hair. Chief Inspector, we are looking for a stocking salesman. I see you have a suspect. Yes, contact all the stocking wholesalers who may employ him. Your suspect is a salesman? No, he does not take orders. He sells door to door. Right, the hunt is on. Amazing. Oh, what? Why? Why we zoomed in? Oh, 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 oh okay, our gate is cutscene. Cutscene of Are the murderer. Are you leaving, Mr. Cust? <laughs> yes, I'm going to Cheltenham. You shouldn't travel today. You don't look very well. I have to. I, I have engagements. I must respect them. Can you get the post, Hastings? And why don't you go and get it yourself? Très bien. What's going on? I've never known Hastings to be so disagreeable. Poor Mr. Poirot. I'm quite sorry for you. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Yeah, he's. Way to go he thinks he's acting weird. Hyperary? No, that comes later. Letter T. The next little incident will take place in Doncaster on September 11th. So long. ABC. I should compare this letter with the one on my desk which I received earlier. To see if it does indeed come from the same person. It is not the right time. Let's put these all together. Let us examine this more closely. Certain characters in the two. Yes, this I. Yes, the A. Uh, that's right, the A. I have to find. Let us examine the. Yes, this eye is weird. Yes, the eye can... I have to find some other similar defects to confirm my theory. Hmm, the W is... Uh, and the W is not... Of course, the W characters in the two letters do indeed have the same defects. Oh yeah, these legs was right. <laughs> These two letters Look out, dumpster. With the same typewriter. <laughs> Hastings, he strikes tomorrow. Chief Inspector Jap? He's on another line. Can I take a message? Yes, please, mademoiselle. It is from Hercule Poirot. Tell him ABC strikes tomorrow in Doncaster. He must call me back. Very well, sir. Yeah, now I'm going to see what I can find from these burnt documents. I've received the product I need. Hastings, if you do not mind, I would like you to take a few notes. Yes. Yeah, Hastings is not very happy. I've finished with this subject.
mathematical and statistical, it's highly probable that the alphabet murderer will kill again. Nope. Could we possibly poor, estimate poor, poor the number forgot of his victims <laughs> in his next crime? Forgot his birthday. Yes. Oh, true, easy. yeah. As soon as we know the ratio of towns, on the one hand, after this... In Go to the last page to find our res... Daily Blag, August 31. Sometime. Three mornings. This... Ep Poirot, well, I assure you I haven't said any such thing to the journalists. They twist everything. Hmm. Right. Now, down to work. Right, it's time to decipher this letter. This needs putting in order a little. Right, so, 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 so that is the corner, right? This page is child's play. It's so simple. This page is finished. That's done. Three more to go. Try this. No, all right. This page is finished. And that's two done. It's here. Right, let's put together these bits. This page is child's play. This page will be reconstructed in a flash. This page is finished. Only Excellent. One there you go. Keep Page will be reconstructed in a This page is finished. All the pages are reconstructed. A bottle of solvent. The cloth is now soaked with solvent. Got it! Make a note, Hastings, make a note. Mrs. Ali Sasha, Sharpona in Andover. Oh. Tracheitis, hemoptysis, prescribed laudanum. I got it. Look. Poirot, where on earth did you find these files? On a fire at the bottom of the garden at Comside. All right, but where did the person who burned them find them? Mm. 
Um, you're seeing these like medical documents of like all four of the de dead people. Alice Asher, shopkeeper in Hendover. There you go. Catis, hemoptysis, chronic cough with lots of. Betty Barnard, waitress in Bexhill. Death too. Alexander Bonaparte cast. While wounded, mustard gas and. Dick Dudley Dunbar. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Okay, so we need to hurry over to Dudley. Where did the documents come from? documents are medical records and without a doubt they come from Clark's archives. First of all because all the patients have thought conditions and secondly their name starts with either A, B, C or D and it is precisely the files that match these letters that have been tampered with. But why burn these files? How come the names of the two victims appear on them? And who are the two other patients? These are very good questions. Right. Time to answer the phone. Hello, Poirot. Any news, Chief Inspector? You wanted a stocking seller? We have one. Reported by his landlady who thought he was behaving suspiciously. He has the most unbelievable name. Alexander Bonaparte Cust. Yes, Alexander Bonaparte Cust. How did you guess? Poro, you have magical powers. It's a serious lead. I called Doncaster. The person matching Cust's description has been seen at the station. He got off the train from London, but after that, nobody knows where he went. Look for him at the Black Swan Hotel. What? How do you know he's there? Trust me, Chief Inspector. You appear to be very sure of yourself. Very well. I'll call the Black Swan straight away. The owner is going to get a shock when he learns that there's a murderer under his roof. Oh. Do we encourage him or do we call instead of him? I say we encourage him to make them take him seriously, right? To, to like make them take the warning seriously. Yeah, I'll encourage him. Do your best, Jack. You can count on me. Hastings, everything is at stake. With a little luck, our main suspect will soon be under lock and key. So has Cust been arrested? Yes, the Doncaster police are sending him by train. 
That is good news. But why so gloomy, Chief Inspector? Well, when I told the hotel owner that he was sheltering a murderer, he collapsed. He's dead? No, fortunately. But it has taken its Him time. again, man, and... It has to be said that with his and welcome, the how's it going? With the letter D, and and I am doing great. To fear cussed. I bet he was going to be the next victim. Chief Inspector, I believe that I share responsibility for this incident. What do you mean? I saw Mr. Donbar's medical records. His heart was weak. I should have warned you. It's very honest of you to tell me that, Poirot. I appreciate your gesture. Please keep me informed of his progress. You can count on me. I'll do what's needed. I will visit him at his bedside when the killer is caught. That's typical of you, Poirot. We should focus on the next part of the investigation in order to avoid other incidents. While we're waiting to question Cust, we could search his room in London. Where does he live? The Marbury Guest House. I'll see you there. Yes, but I understand. Oh, God. Is this, we are making good progress. Please go. With pleasure. I did have a dentist appointment, but I'll cancel. A dentist. So that is why you are so nervous and bad tempered. A visit to the dentist is never an enjoyable prospect. But an unavoidable one. Go to your appointment, Hastings. To Marbury Guest House, please. Yeah, I'm. I'm doing great, um, Megan, man, and uh, uh, and I hope you're doing great also. Oh, I think I think this is where the game crashed for Jack, right? Yeah, this is the place. How do you do? You must be Mr. Elkil Praro. Chief Inspector Jack told me that you might be coming. Madame you may be of valuable help to me. It would be my pleasure to help you. Will there be some journalists there as well? I think you might even be interviewed. You are key witness. I've suspected him for some time, but he appeared so harmless. Oh yes, sometimes he got angry and waved his arms about. But even then, he wasn't frightening. And he was as gentle as a lamb again immediately afterwards. It was only this morning that I understood. He told me he was going to Cheltenham, but my daughter saw him at Euston Station. It's not the right station. To get to Cheltenham, you have to take the train from Paddington. And what's more, Mr. Cust left behind an ABC with Duncaster underlined. As you can imagine, when I saw that, I called Scotland Yard. Well done. You were right. He did go to Doncaster. So I was right to warn the police. <laughs> she sounds overly excited. Any Definitely. To uh, she seems a bit too. Well, he's bit odd. A bit too happy about it. Sometimes he coughs really loudly and complains that his throat is burning, and sometimes he talks to himself and stares into space. He told me that it was because of a wound he got in the war. His head hasn't been quite right since he said. And then he was in Churston when that millionaire got murdered. I found his train ticket when I washed his coat. He didn't want me to wash his shirt. He washed it himself. But I did see big brown stains on it. Do you think it was blood? Well, when I saw them, I thought, look, he spilled his wine or his soup all over himself. But now that I think about it, well, they did look like blood. Got used to travel for his work, is that correct? Oh, it wasn't for pleasure. He was always on well on trains. But he had to sell his stockings around England. I have to respect my engagements, he used to say. Do you know where Kirst was at the time of the murder in Andover and Bexil? On June the 21st and July the 25th? 
No, I don't know. That was a while ago, you know. But surely you keep a register. It won't do you much good. Mr. Cuss rents his room for the year. If he goes away for a few days, I have no reason to make a note of it. Ah! I remember one thing. Bexer's by the sea, right? Indeed. It is a large seaside resort. Well, mm. as it happens, at the start of July, Mr. Cast asked me to repair his bathing dress. Suspicious, huh? Very interesting. Please continue. I also forgot to say that he started buying newspapers that talked about the case. When did he start buying the newspapers? Let's see. I think it was just after the millionaire's murder in Churston. He didn't seem all that interested before that. That will be all for now. I'm going to take a look at his room. Take the key on the counter. I should check the register. Mrs. Marbury may have been hiding something. I don't think my register will help you. Mr. Cuss rents his room all year. If he goes away for a few days, I have no reason to make a note of it. The truth is becoming apparent, and I have something to say to Mrs. Marbury. This woman appears to be in a good mood. Is, is she kind of burnt potato? Like peeling a burnt potato? I really would like to help, but I think I've said all I have to say. That's a weird looking peeler. Mrs. Marbury is in a good mood. She is working very precisely in producing incredibly thin peel. It looks like I found the real master of this house. There is no need to worry about the household cat. I'm sure that Mrs. Marbury lets it do what it pleases. Oh, okay. Mrs. Marbury, if I am to believe the register, you rented room 306 to a certain Mr. Fishman on the day of the Bexil murder? Room 306 is Cust's room. Can you explain yourself? Yes, I remember. Just for one night as a favor, Mr. Cust was away, all my other rooms were taken, and poor Mr. Fishman had nowhere to go. You rented the same room to two people. Very profitable, but quite illegal. But I didn't harm anyone, I was only helping everybody out. to get the ribbon. How am I going to do it? The ribbon is jammed. I have to start by freeing it. The ribbon is jammed. Something is blocking the ribbon.
Right, I think I think I might need some items Did first. Did drop it when you opened the window, or was it? John Milligan, managing director, Silky Legs, Frederick Street. Dear sir, further to our letters dated fifth and tenth of the month, we confirm. Regarding the schedule of your rounds, please do as following. June 21, Andover. Arrive by train the 20th in the evening and get room at Station Hotel. This letter establishes that cost when... Okay. A long blade and knife. A murderer's weapon. This object will probably... It's an ABC. Cast is parsimonious. He keeps his pencils and sharpens them until there is nothing left. It is clear that he did not grow up in luxury. I have to get the ribbon. I'm guessing I have to go back later. Laudanum Cameron's chemists. Laudanum, a medicine for coughs. This subject will probably... Diethyl barbiturate. I know this medicine. This subject will probably... White shirts. The Bexhill Daily Paper. Most probably the basting dress repaired by Mrs. Marbury's. All the main articles referring to the ABC case are. Then, then open it. <laughs> this knife is very useful. Who knows? Maybe it never cut anything other than string. Stockings. Stockings. ABC guys. Enough to sign about a dozen murders. ABC guys. Oh, 
awful. This place is a real mess. The least we can say that Mr. Cust is not very concerned about order and balance. War of 1914. An army dispatch. Right. Let's interact with this shit. I have to get the ribbon. Is, it, is, is, is that like the only interactable thing? Did Cast drop it when you opened the window? Or was it Mrs. Marbury? John Milligan, Managing Director, Sil. Dear sir, regarding the schedule of your. This letter. Oh, oh, okay, so we can't interact with that anymore. Cast is parsimonious. He keeps his pencils. medicine it is a laudanum a medicine for coughs it is what dr. Clark
Right. I have to get the ribbon. There, there has to be a way, right? Oh. You, you can you can interact with these. Right wheel has been removed. Oh, you can interact with these things. The left hand heel has been removed. Something is blocking the ribbon. What do you mean something is blocking the ribbon? And here is the ribbon. Let us see if it was indeed used to write the letters sent by ABC. Okay, so you so you just take it anyway? I only need the ink ribbon for my inquiry. I will let Jack clean the keyboard if he wishes. All the letters announcing the murders were written on cast typewriter. It is not the right time. It's not the right time. Talkings. ABC guys. ABC guys. Enough to sign about a dozen murders. John Milligan. Dear sir. Right. There's got to be something we can use this for, right? This letter establish. Finished with this up. Did Cast drop it when? It's an A. At least we can say that Mr. Cust is not very concerned about order and balance. It is not the right time. Trousers, what? The Bexhill Daily Paper, dated from the day of the Bexhill murder. Most probably the best. All the main articles referring to the. I A 
ABC Guide. ABC Guys, enough to sign a Okay, uh, uh, we, we can look at this. This dark stain. It could be blood, but goodness knows how long it has been there. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Let's cast out the tiny the bricks. Uh, bricks will murder. shows that Cusp did not sleep at the guest house on the day of the murder. Where was he? Bexil. The Bexil paper reveals it. Cusp bought this newspaper in Bexil on July the 25th. No use continuing the inspection of this room. I've... Goodbye, Mrs. Marbury. Thank you for your help. Bye. Ah, Chief Inspector. I was about to leave. Good evening, Chief Inspector. Welcome. Please excuse me. I must go to the kitchen. I'll leave the cube, Mr. Cust, on the counter. I'm sorry I'm late. I've spent I, I do not like how she just, like, suspiciously and just you? turns around. I have established one fact. On three occasions, Cust was at the scene on the day of the crime. I've listened closely to what you have to say, Poirot. For me, there's no doubt, Cust is guilty. Do you have any element that might prove the contrary? That is what we're going to look for. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Cust mm, who killed three victims. evidence against Cust is overwhelming. His presence at the scenes, the knife, the bloodstained shirt, the ABCs in a box. C'est vrai. However, the blood Mrs. Marbury saw on Cust's shirt may have been his own. According to his medical records, he suffers from hemoptysis. The murderer cuts a Carmichael throat from behind, and the blood spurted outwards. You would expect the murderer's shirt to be stained on the sleeves, not on the buttonholes. Yet we see quite the opposite. You would expect the murderer to keep the newspaper articles about his crimes. But Cust's collection starts in Cheston, as if it discovered the case rather late. 
Hmm, I agree it's troubling, but it doesn't change my mind. There's small details that we should be able to clear up by questioning Cust. When can you talk to him? Doncaster is sending him to us on the first train. Are they questioning him already? He says he can't remember a thing. It's plausible. Doctor Say suffers from absences and amnesia. Mrs. Marbury has confirmed this. He may have done the murders in an altered state. A familiar situation. It's not enough to clear his name. Dr. Thompson insisted that even if you don't know what you're doing, you never commit a murder without wanting to. Très intéressant. I shall remember that. Right. I'll go and examine the suspect's room. Chief Inspector, I took the liberty of removing a few clues to examine at home. All right, we'll discuss them tomorrow. In the meantime, I'm going to see if you've missed something. Right, let's go. To Scotland Yard, please. Man is not in good shape. He is worried and very tired, and other police have been hard on him. What do you want from me? Good day, ABC. Do you know who I am? Someone who's got it in for me. I am Hercule Poirot, and I want nothing other than the truth. Ah, you're the detective. Yes, I am the person you have been sending the letters to. I didn't write these letters. I've already said so. Hmm. Maybe you forgot that you wrote these letters. Yes, it's true. Sometimes I forget. Maybe I did type them. Are you capable of murder, Mr. Cust? All these questions are giving me a headache. <sighs> could help him. He is in no state. Take this. It will help you. Thank you. Those are the two lanes of audio is really weird. Oh, good God, my shirt is covered in blood again. Bon, I now know where the blood stains Mrs. Marbury so came from. Are you well enough to speak? Yes, I feel much better.
Are you capable of murder, Mr. Cust? All these questions are giving me a headache. <sighs> you enjoyed the war, Cust. Admit it. I didn't want to be discharged. Uh, let's see. But you killed him, as well as two other people. That's what they all say. <laughs> you were seen at all the crime scenes. Yes, I was. I travel a lot, but not for pleasure. I am terribly unwell in trains. But I had to respect my engagements. My employer gave me very precise written instructions about the towns I had to visit. <coughs> <laughs> Let's see. The company you claim to work for, Silky Legs, has never heard of you. And as for these letters they sent you, they were written on your own typewriter. The company sent me the typewriter when I started working for them. Yes, but the letters were received afterwards. Hmm. So it would appear that you tied them before sending them to yourself. I... I don't remember. Good God! I don't know what's happening to me. My head hurts terribly. Right, and that one? Take this. It will help you. Oh, I think I'll be fine. Yes, I know. But I'm not wrong in saying that you do not know why you committed them. No, I don't. Let us leave Cast alone. Is that the end of this tether? And? What conclusions have you drawn? Plenty. It might help us to understand him a little better. Let us now yeah. try and get our brain cells to work. Yeah. This guy needs to give up the smokes. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> Definitely, he, he is coughing like crazy. I, I, I am just instantly doing the point and click solution of just trying everything with everything. <laughs> hmm. 
Ne diyor? God, the plot thickens. I don't see any clearer than before. This is worse. There is one point, Twilight. Securieux. Cast admits that he killed, but he does not know why. What did Dr. Thompson say? Even if Cast killed while in an altered state, it still must have been his deepest desire. He must have had a motive. Let's keep it simple. Never mind his motive. He confessed. But you see, he can confess to anything and everything. He denied the murders and then he confessed to them. He confirmed that he never typed the letters. Then, with great ease, I managed to get him to say quite the opposite. Come on, he behaved like a guilty man. He lied to his landlady. Because deep down, he believes himself guilty. From the papers, he noticed that he had always been at the scene of the crimes. He must think that he killed and then simply forgot what he had done. How can you be so sure? Let us look at his psychological profile. You will understand. Let us now try and get... Clara. You see? Cus character is quite the opposite of the murderers. But if he's a madman, can we really talk about his character? You know very well that how a murderer does not behave like a psychopath. Apart from the signature, there is no ritual of repetition in the choice of victims. Very well, very well. You're right, as always. So, we have no confession, no culprit, no suspects, nothing. And all that after two months of inquiry? What should I do? Have faith. Just give me 24 hours. White Heaven, please. Okay. 
Cust's arrest is a great success, Vuparo. It's all clear now, except maybe one or two details. Details? Ah, mon ami. The devil is in the detail, as we say. Excuse me? Patience, Hastings. Everything will be clear once I guest arrive. Best be prepared. Slip a revolver into your pocket before they do. A revolver? But Poirot, what are you afraid of? Trust me. It is important you carry a weapon for this meeting. I will lend you mine. What about telling me what you have in mind? Surtout pas. You wouldn't be able to play your role. Wait one moment, I will bring you my weapon. Oh, he's he's gonna make a big brain play, isn't he? Right, where's where does he find this stuff? Hmm. Hastings photo album. He is very proud of his bag. Tristan Devon. find the revolver Daily Flicker September the A B cast The Lancet How a But his amnesia was a real Supposed to find the revolver. The white ammunition are blank cartridges. The others are real bullets. The revolver is loaded with real bullets. I still have time to choose blanks. The revolver is loaded with blanks. I still have time to choose real bullets. Oh, I'm going to pick the real bullets. The revolver is loaded. trust you with my weapon. It has hardly been used. It is almost new. Right, and now we pick up the thing. Chief Inspector, is that you? Yes. Sorry, but we have... Have you checked the typewriter? And the packaging, the letter, and the ribbon reel. We've only found prints left by Cust and his landlady. Well, never mind. I shall make do. So, are you still... Of course, Chief Inspector. I can hear my guest coming up the steps. Why have you brought us here, Mr. Poirot? 
Since Cus arrest, I thought it was all done and dusted. Miss Gray formally identified him, as well as Miss Barnard. Yes, and the stockings he sold are of the same brand as the ones found at my aunt's. This is all true. However, a case is not closed if some questions remain open. And one question is, why did the murderer send me his letters? Why did he challenge me, Hercule Poirot? Perhaps he wanted to play with you, to taunt you. Xenophobia? Maybe he didn't like you because you're foreign. Um, I may be wrong, but... Maybe by provoking you, he was looking for glory? All these theories should be studied. Uh. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Oh, it's going to be the guy standing next to Hastings, isn't it? Taking the address. It was intentional. Okay. Is everything clear now? Hmm. You might like to explain your reasoning again. Of course. First of all, remember that the murderer made it a rule to always post his letter before the murder. He never digressed from that rule. However, in Cheston, he encountered a problem. The village has only 500 inhabitants. With advance warning, it would be easy to arrest him. Therefore, the murderer delayed his letters deliberately with the wrong address. The plan wouldn't have worked if he'd sent it to Scotland Yard or the papers because everybody knows their addresses. The mistake would have been corrected, and the letter would have been on time. That is why the murderer chose me as the recipient. Because for his plan to succeed, it was necessary for at least one of the letters to have a wrong address and get lost. It was very cunning. Absolutely. It is a very subtle plan. It matches the profile we have drawn up of him perfectly. That of an intelligent, daring and calculating murderer. But that's not how you describe cust. You are quite right, mademoiselle. Like you, I find it hard to believe that this dull character is the clever murderer we are looking for. Do madmen... I mean, if he's mad, he might have two very different sides. No doubt. But the murderer is not mad. All the specialists agree that he does not have the profile of a psychopath. But if Cust is not guilty, how do you explain his presence at the scene of the crimes? Mr. Clark, the answer to your question is in the medical records of your brother's I would not be surprised if it's Franklin. Documents which Cust most certainly did not have access to. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Thank you. 
how to explain cast presence currency. Dr. Clark's patient's records provided a very useful list of potential victims, sorted by alphabetical order. The killer definitely used it, explaining the fact that all the victims were former patients of the doctor. It is this fact that clears Cust once and for all, because he never had access to these records. So how did he happen to be at the scene of the crimes? Either the murderer sent him there, or Cus was following him closely. Cus's highly suggestible nature leads us to the second hypothesis. The murderer was manipulating him. He systematically sent Cass to the towns where he was going to strike, so that the suspicion would land on the poor man's shoulder. That's evil! What sort of killer could have such a plan? And what would he gain from three completely different murders? Indeed, it seems unlikely that the same murderer committed all the crimes. What should we take from that? Right, okay. Um... is not one murderer but three accomplices who all use the same scenario do you mean that three murderers with quite different aims joined forces to create a smoke screen here's another question is it still necessary to find a motive for each crime and the one in andover poses problem why was poor mrs asher killed hmm indeed it would be best to forget the theory the murderer does not kill out of interest but for pleasure you yourself told us that the murderer was not a psychopath hey <sighs> are we absolutely therefore let us look for some the murderer first killed for money but then began to enjoy it but mr poirot the first murder was my Ah, sir. Just one murder was of benefit to the murderer. The others were just... On reflection, there is only one conclusion. The murderer killed once out of interest and twice to divert our attention. Hmm. This reasoning points at two potential culprits. Franklin Clark. Donald Fraser? Yes, mademoiselle. That's good thinking. Mr. Fraser may have killed Betty out of jealousy. Mr. Clark may have killed his brother in order to inherit his large fortune. Both have a motive. But Donald did not have access to Dr. Clark's records. Please allow me to disagree with you, mademoiselle. Hmm. Donald, too, has been treated by the doctor. You're quite wrong, Mr. Poirot. Wait, wait, please excuse me. It was a... Donald, Sir Carmichael was one of your firm's customers. It doesn't prove that I went to Combside. You could have done it. And you may have used the opportunity to take a look at Sir Carmichael's records. You think I'm guilty? You? Or Mr. Franklin Clark? That's ridiculous! Both of you have a motive. The question is, which of you has the profile that most resembles the murderer? Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Right.
Ladies and gentlemen, Donald may share many character traits with the murderer, hmm. but he does not have his cold indifference. He has a temper. It is hard to imagine him planning anything. Also, jealousy is his motive, and crimes of passion are rarely planned. Right, I suppose it's my turn to be subjected to the same scrutiny. Absolutely, Mr. Clark. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. It's Franklin Clear. Yeah, it is, it is definitely Franklin, isn't it? <laughs> All the pieces coming together. As you have all seen, there is a disturbing similarity between Mr. Clark's profile and that of the killer. In actual fact, it is exactly the same. Mr. Poirot, your psychological studies are interesting, but your conclusions do not add up. Why would I have wished my brother's death? The inheritance is lawfully mine. G -G -A I just have to wait. Hey, thank you, SJ. I appreciate no, it. You had to act quickly. Uh... Six hours also. Because of Miss Gray. <gasps> Mademoiselle, also you haven't been telling the truth. There is no doubt in my mind that you would have found a way to marry Sir Carmichael after Lady Clark's death. For you, Mr. Clark, it was a disaster. If Miss Gray had children by your brother, you would not have inherited a thing. You realize the danger after reading several letters from Comside, especially one in which your brother opened his heart to you. So yeah. you hurried home from China. Yeah, thank you, Maester, and I appreciate it. In truth, the cast was no more than a puppet manipulated by the real culprit. You, Mr. Clark. Such an imagination, Mr. Poirot. In fact, nobody manipulated Cust. The famous instructions he received by post. He wrote them on the typewriter. We know that for sure. Oh no, you know perfectly well. That is not true. Eh bien, voilà. Light has now been shed on the ABC murders. Your theories are ingenious, but you haven't any proof. One point to him. For the moment, I have no material proof. Either I admit to it, or I bluff. Damn, okay, uh... I think it had to be the, the letters, right? The typewriter.
One thing proves it. The prints you left on Cus typewriter. Enough. Oh, of course you wiped the typewriter before sending it. But not carefully enough. Scotland Yard has found your print along with those of Cust. I understand why you never wanted to lend me your new typewriter. And why you were searching through your brother's things. And the hole you dug on the moors. What did you hide there? The knife you used to kill your brother? Game, set, match. You win, Mr. Poirot. But it was worth trying. Don't come near me! I'll never let you take me, Mr. Poirot! Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, actually, actually not that bad. took the law into his own hands. He had no right. He should have paid for his crimes. I should have expected what he did. Come on, Poirot. Everybody makes mistakes. Exactly. Hastings, if one day I sound pretentious, please whisper these three letters in my ear. A, B, C. Yeah, you were able to load the gun with fake bullets, but I thought I actually used the real bullets. Oops. Disappointed at having missed the chance to become Lady Clark, Thora Gray left England. Donald Fraser and Megan Barnard married. On Poirot's recommendation, Mary Drower started to work for Lady Clark. The elderly lady's condition suddenly took a turn for the better. And a few months later, to Dr. Logan's great surprise, she was back on her feet again. According to this eminent physician, it appears to be an extremely rare case of spontaneous remission. Lady Clark has enjoyed very good health ever since. Journal of an Innocent, the incredible story of ABC. As for A.B. Cust, after being advised by Poirot, he made a great deal of money by selling his story to the press. And as for me, and with business booming, the Black Swan has become the number one tourist attraction in the whole of Yorkshire, even more popular than York Minster. Incredible. And yeah, we, we, we managed to finish the game. Right, right, so what's in bonuses? Some post for you, Poirot. Mr. Hercule Poirot, you fancy yourself, don't you, at solving mysteries that are too difficult for our poor... Oh, oh, okay, just lets you do it, do stuff again. Okay, so so that is the end of ABC Murders. I I I, I hope you all enjoyed it. And let's go and give someone a raid, shall we? Yeah, that that. That that was an absolutely amazing time. 
Of course, I'd end it with the sound of it. Yeah, a, a great afternoon's ent entertainment. And let's go and raid someone, shall we? Um, let's let's raid Super Sam Ham because he because he joined us uh, earlier. <laughs> yeah, 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 was the sound of it. Best button. Yeah, and yeah, thank you all for attending, and I will see you all next time.